All right, everybody. We are back for more Paper Mario Level Zero. So last we left off, we had just finished Muscular, the fourth Star Spirit from Chai Guy's Toy Box. We only have three Star Spirits left to get, so there's a chance we could be finishing up the run this stream. Not a guarantee, but it's possible. Anyhow, it's time for us to be Peach again, because we're going to bake a cake. Hey Twink, those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to help Mario. Is it still safe to use the secret path? You don't think Bowser figured it out, but when we literally spun it right into him last time? No, he's a dunce. <laughs> he looks scary, but he's a major bonehead. Yeah, that basically describes Bowser in the Paper Mario series. And now I believe it actually skips. Yeah, now we just head out right here. We can skip the corridor. Minor time save. Hey, you losers. Uh, huh? Who are you? You remember this guy. I'm Princess Peach, and who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy for some reason. I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, if you, I'll keep this a secret if you want and you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? Well, I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. Oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor below us. It's five star. Peach, you should know this. This is your castle. You literally live here. You can go cook there. Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. Hey, we get the castle key! Yay! So, uh, I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. Yeah, that's a good idea. But now we get access to the second floor of the castle, which is gonna be great. Oh yeah, and let me know if the volume level's okay, and if my- there's a- If my volume actually matches up. Because there's some times where it, like, my voice comes out before the game audio, and it's not good. So what I'm gonna do first is go down this corridor and open the door now. Hello? Is anyone in here? Oh no! I'm caught for sure! Huh? Princess Peach! You're okay! Thank the stars! You're a toad from the castle? How long have you been hiding here? Well, since Bowser took over! I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into the closet! <laughs> I'm hiding here till Mario comes and saves us all! <laughs> Princess Peach, you want to hide too? It's risky out there. Please don't take any chances. But what I really wanted was this. The last stand badge. When Mario is in danger, he receives half the damage. That's going to be a useful badge. And we want that as soon as possible. These guys have really bad eyesight. Either that or it's a lot darker than it looks on my screen. So before we make him the dessert he wants, we're going back to the big treasure chest room and putting the last stand badge in there. I just realized Peach should go into that chest herself and then she would warp into Shooting Star Summit. Actually, Mario could crawl in there. Well, maybe not until he rescues all the star spirits, but alright. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. No, never mind. He's dumb. <sighs> now for the cooking game, which you love or you hate. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> well, here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? <laughs> I usually have my private chef make me stuff, so I've never done it before. Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Well, hang on a second. 
Oh, uh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good. Let's whip one up. That's how Princess Peach actually sounds. Sounds good. Okay, Twink, read me the recipe, y'all. Well, okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you finished, let me know and we'll move on to the next step. Don't put in salt. Also, it's pretty picky. You're only supposed to put in one sugar and technically one egg. Shell and all. Even though it says eggs plural, they only want one. Done? Yep. Okay, move on to the next step. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. Oh, I am ready for this. All set. When I say start, press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds to mix the batter. Why does it have to be in 10 seconds? Are you ready? Start. I don't, I don't know what determines how much you have to do it. That's it! Great job! Did it go well, Princess Peach? Yep. Okay, let's go on to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. I'll even do it in that order. Flour. Nope, that's milk. Butter is over here. It's apparently in a jar. I don't know who has jarred butter. Not me. Done? Yep. Okay, after you've mixed the ingredients in the bowl, pour it in the pan. And Peach is good enough now that she can do it automatically. That's it? Four ingredients? That's it? Sugar, flour, eggs, and butter? I mean, that sounds kind of right. No baking powder, though? On to the next step. Now... Bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. <laughs> wow! That cake bakes real fast. <laughs> 30 seconds. Hot dog. Also, I realized I can cheat because I've got the time I've spent streaming right here. <laughs> now you can put the cake in the oven with A. Press A again when you think the 30 seconds have passed, then take the cake out of the oven. This can be a bit picky. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Yeah, you can't unbake something. Okay, please put it in the oven. Um, baking a cake for 30 seconds ain't gonna do squat. I'm just saying that. All right. Yeah, I've got the timer on OBS right now for how long I've been streaming, so this is going to be great. <laughs> how hot is that oven that it can cook the cake in 30 seconds? Not that it would even cook it evenly if it's a thick cake. The middle won't. If it, like the outside will be charred, the middle will not be cooked at all. Booyah. Done? Yep. Put it on the table to cool. I can do that. Wow, that baked real- <laughs> What kind of magic is this? We're going to decorate it with cream and strawberries. Once again, one of each, and you have to do it in that order. If you put the strawberries on first, he'll hate it for some reason. She just has a bowl of cream lying out. All of this stuff needs to be refrigerated, Peach. Well, not all of it. You can keep the flour and the sugar and the salt out, lying out, that's fine. But if cream is just lying out in a bowl, that, that's gonna spoil real quickly. I guess strawberries could be lying out, at least for a little bit. Also, I just realized, her wall is basically Andy's room's wallpaper, just yellow instead of blue. Also, it's really fun if you intentionally mi mis mis mix up the dessert by putting cleanser detergent on instead of cream. It's fantastic. Done? Yep. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> it looks great. But is it actually great? Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting for so long. I've wasted away to nothing. Yes, I can see. You're quite emaciated. Thank you. Moment of truth. Oh, yes, he likes it. Oh! Oh! Delicious! This is way too delicious! Whew! That was really good. I haven't felt this way since, well, ever! To show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. 
One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. This island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. I'm stuck in the castle! How do you expect me to do that? <laughs> but you better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. He'd better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. He fed me cake. <laughs> Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava, Lava Lava Island, the Star Spirit's being held inside the volcano. Mario could really use this information, huh? Yeah, he could. Twink, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will. I'll do it right now. That's what Twink is made for, quite literally. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach. Just, wow, you can just... You can just use telekinesis to open the window without touching it. Oh, watch with all the shouting! Keep it quiet in here! I heard some guy doing a dance on the ceiling. It was very loud. So, it was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner, and as a prisoner, you need to keep... What? What are you doing out of your room anyway? Guards, get the princess! No, come on. I can't leave the castle. <laughs> she might jump into the treasure chest and warp to shooting Star Summit. We can't let that happen. Phew! Ah, fresh air! After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. <laughs> My name is Muscular, Mario. I look must thank you for saving me. <laughs> As you can see, I'm ripped. Now it's my turn to help you. Behold! 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 <laughs> Mario's star energy goes up to four. Yes, that's the real <laughs> bonus. And now we can use Chill Out, a new star spirit power. With Chill Out, you can lower the attack power of all enemies. Call me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now, I'm going back to dear old Starhaven. Mario! Mario, Mario! I have news! News from the castle! Gasp! Honorable Star Spirit! Hi! Hmm... I believe you are Twink, no? Even though you all have the exact same sprites, I recognize you. You're that youngster who recently ascended from Starborn Valley up to Starhaven. What? You remember my name?! <laughs> of course! We're like family! I, I, I'm so touched! <laughs> oh, don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink and Mario. Wow! I talked to Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit! I rarely have such a chance, even at Starhaven. I'm shaking! He just flies off. Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, important news from the castle. Uh, yeah, Princess Peach and I figured out that there's a star spirit on Lava Lava Island. Oh yeah, I kinda knew that. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Mario's played the game before. Alrighty. Still low level. Don't have a lot of stuff. I probably should have done the peach cake last stream and then grinded off screen for some life shrooms. Oh uh, well, 2020 eyesight and all that. Oh, hey! Multi-bounce sleep stomp. Multi-bounce actually could be helpful. I'm gonna buy that. Merlin's hanging out there. He's a little depressed. But we're not talking to him because all that does is lead us to a badge that we can't equip anyways. Very first thing I'm gonna do is go over and get the last stand badge from Shooting Star Summit. It's going to be one of the big three. I thought Mega Rush was going to be one of the big three. I think the big three are going to be Power Rush, Last Stand, and Close Call. Or maybe Mega Rush. Maybe not Close Call, because Close Call doesn't work very often. Maybe 30% of the time. Oh, one other, one other thing I haven't gotten yet. Power Smash. At least I don't think I've gotten Power Smash. No, never mind. I got Power Smash. Alright, I've got Speedy Spin on, Refund, and Mega Rush. Cool. Alright. Gonna do... <laughs> Sorry, folks. I'm gonna be doing some grinding for some more Life Shrooms.
Gotta love the Koopa leaves. Alright. Hey, dude. 60 more items? Cool. Shooting star for one. Snowman doll. Super soda. <laughs> I'm flat broke! <laughs> Mario, you gotta be wiser with your finances. You just spent all of your money on mushrooms. But they're tasty! <laughs> That's one thing I'm noticing. Because I'm ignoring all the common enemies, I'm not getting very much money. All of my money's coming from selling stuff or using the refund badge. Hello, wary spoop. Welcome! <laughs> It's not quite a normal playthrough, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not a normal playthrough. I'm doing the level zero run. Oh, out of room. So that, that basically just means I, I'm i supposed to play at minimum level. So if I level up, I have to level up BP. And I'm not allowed to equip more than... Uh, use more than three of my BP at once. I'm also not allowed to equip badges that cost more than one BP to equip. But besides that, yeah, pretty normal. Not a speed run at all. I can't pull off all of those insane speedrunning tricks. Hey, Tasty. I'm just right now making some life shrooms because I'm about to go to Lava Lava Island. And with only 10 HP, that's going to be pretty dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's right. I also spent a lot of money on Little Oinks getting a second Repel Gel. Oh, I just... <laughs> it looks like Mario has Watt's head. That's fantastic. I love the cooking system in Paper Mario. Especially in Paper Mario 1. <laughs> it's so broken. You can buy a mushroom for four coins, mix it with two Koopa leaves, and get a life stream and sell it for, like, 50. Did I already select that? No, okay. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I wasn't mixing two mushrooms by mistake. That would be... That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, I've checked out some of the speedruns for Paper Mario, and they do crazy things like jump through walls by doing like a bunch of frame-perfect jumps. I, I, I can't do that. Koopa leaves are one of the most versatile ingredients. Like, chances are if you mix something with a Koopa leaf, you're going to get something that's not a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had interest in speedrunning a few games before, but most of the ones I've been interested in speedrunning have been, like, ones that would be like, oh yeah, you could do that, but it's like a short game, not like these long games. <laughs> Bake a cake for four years. <laughs> I love those videos. <laughs> what I learned from those is Paper Mario's... I, I remember as a kid, I'm like, Paper Mario doesn't have any glitches. What are you talking about? Then I'm like, oh no, it's actually a very glitchy game. But that that's honestly one of the things that makes uh, the N64 games so fun. Like Donkey Kong 64, the thing that keeps me coming back to that game is all the cool glitches in it. <laughs> Alright. So I do all that. Can I sell... Oh, only 30 coins. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, that's enough for now. I've got quite a few life streams, way more than I'm going to need for Lava Lava Island, so... Yeah, that's generally... That's what I've learned also when I stopped playing, like, super casually. Because 
on my first playthrough of the Paper Mario games, I was generally like, oh yeah, I level up all the stuff evenly. Like, first I level up, like, FP, then BP, then HP, and just kind of keep going down the line. No, I've learned BP is by far the best thing to level up. Because at the very least, even if you, like, really need more HP, just equip an HP plus badge. It costs free BP, which is what you get from a level up. <laughs> Alright, let's check out, check the Koopa leaves. Do I have any more? Okay, good. <laughs> Gonna want all of my snowman dolls for this world. Mainly for the boss. Also, one like thing that people like doing, especially in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, is never leveling up HP and then actually lowering your HP count by five so that he's always in danger. And that way you always can reap the benefits of the uh, Power Rush, Last Stand, and Close Call badges. Alright, cool. Off to Lava Lava Island. Which is my favorite world in the game, and one of my favorite video game worlds ever, actually. I especially love the boss. Alright. Oh, hang on. Getting ready for the boss fight. Uh, okay. Take off Speedy Spin, and I'll take off a Refund. I don't need Mega Rush. I'm definitely going to want a uh, Quake Hammer? Because that's like the only way I'm going to be able to attack him. Power Rush, sure, and Last Stand. Cool. Oh, hey, it's you. Colorado. No, Yoach! What are you doing? Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was! It seems to be a huge tuna! Oh, I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And I have problems! It feels like somebody's jumping around in my belly. Also, I failed art school. No, oh, help me! Hmm, I say, old boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Uh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. Oh, I have, and I do have a headache from you jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Oh yeah, all the deep focuses. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping those around for a reason. Oh, it's you. Blah, who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? I forgot. I actually kind of forgot about this boss. Fuzzipede. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ornery as all get out. Prepare some pain. You're ornery as all get out, huh? Okay. Let's just Star Storm him. <laughs> it's my most powerful attack. <laughs> the problem is I'm not going to get the third deep focus until uh, Bowser's Castle. And the other two, like, yeah, it'll replenish a good amount, but not a ton. I suppose if I'm away from an inn, then I can do that. Whew. <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> also, Watt is my favorite partner. Oh, he only had 20 HP. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> oh, he's easy. Ah, shucks. First, I think I can get away from that old fishing man. Then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of fry pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me. You know the whale? Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Also, I didn't realize this guy was supposed to be like a caterpillar, the fuzzipede. <laughs> Make the battles go on for as long as possible. Uh, I'd rather not. It's you, boy. You're that double fish that ate up me all and such. 
You plum idiot! You know I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap. With my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Uh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. You beat me up. I appreciate that. <laughs> Take care, man. <laughs> Ooh, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. <laughs> there must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, am... I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful, and you must trust my instincts. Mario, um, I think the Star Kid said a Star Spirit was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should go. Big Whale, give us a ride! Whee! Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Uh, do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> oh, you're just past me in the, your current playthrough. Nice. Uh, I'm sure this is safe then. Uh, make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Do you ever think how strange life can be? I do. <laughs> Colorado, your mouth didn't move when you were talking. Chapter 5. Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. I've been looking forward to this. I love this world so much. <laughs> you didn't want to see him swim all the way here, did you? That would be boring. If you want me to take you back to Toy Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious! Behold, Mario! There, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! Alright, you do you, man. I'm gonna pick up a stopwatch. Actually, I don't need a coconut. I think I'll unequip Quake Hammer and re-equip Speedy Spin. Heart plants for the win. Yeah! Help, I say! Help! No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I gotta avoid the common enemy fights after all. Yeah! Get off! Ah! Of course I have all the attack FX badges equipped. I love those. <laughs> Dear me, I barely got away. That was rather rude, Mario, leaving me like that. <laughs> well, we can't all be heroes. Let's press on, hmm? Maybe I was going to get help. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Hi, Yoshis! Gotta replenish my star power. <laughs> the Toad's in his slogan is Refresh Your Body and Soul. I'm literally sleeping on a log with leaves. That doesn't look like the most comfortable bed, but it still works. I also like how they don't charge. Fasten your door, everyone got so capitalistic, and we're like, Oh, you want to sleep in a bed? You gotta pay me money. Yeah! Help! Help! <laughs> oh, get a hold of yourself! What do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? <laughs> I am rude. Get off me, you brute! Ah! That was frightful. Have you no manners, Mario? Going on without me? You bore. Well, not everyone is noble. It would seem that our goal, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on, hmm? Colorado, you gotta take care of yourself. Gotta get the jam and jelly. Ah, uh, Mario, have a look at this. 
Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Uh, gah! S stop it! Stop it! <laughs> oh, did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? <laughs> Just a bit of a joke. <laughs> Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on. Hmm? All the Yoshis are crying. Oh no. Well, they can deal with their own problems. Get back here, you this instant, you little ingrates! <laughs> I apologize in advance for my sushi voice. Hey, you! Down there! Look up if you can hear me! This is so embarrassing! I'm stuck in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? Come on now, try harder! Ah, phew, I'm saved! I feel like I have the one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Did they put like a snare net in the tree? <laughs> Don't they know it's dangerous to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you better get back to the village, too. <laughs> it's dangerous out there. <laughs> why on earth did you come to the jungle anyway? I needed you as my partner, that's why. <laughs> I blew up the tree. Come on, try harder. <laughs> well, so you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then I don't see why we can't look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we gotta find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Mario, huh? Hmm, well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I'd usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Sushi, join your party. Press down on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down again while riding her, she'll dive deep underwater for a short time. And while in battle, she can jump, attack with belly flop, or douse enemies with her squirt ability. She's going to be a pretty bad partner in terms of damage output. But she's going to be useful for traversing the overworld. I love the music in this world. The Jade Jungle theme is great, but especially when we get to Raphael the Raven's house, that's like one of my favorite songs of the game. Whoop! So that block has a badge we can't equip in it, so there's no real point in getting that. Likewise, I can't... Oh, yeah. One other thing about the level 0 run. I can't upgrade any of my partners. So that's also out. <laughs> Let's get out Cooper. Because we got to fight with an ambush. Four of them. <laughs> been a very bad, bad boy. I usually don't use Cooper in normal playthroughs, but in this one he's actually pretty good. He's, the only, he's one of the few enemies, who, one of your few partners who can actually damage all enemies. Look at these star points. This is what happens when you don't go out of your way to fight enemies. <laughs> oh yes, another FP. I really wanted that. Now I can do another power shell. Poor Yoshi. Ah, that was so scary. We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here. Sushi was right. We should have stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. Little Yoshis are so adorable. <laughs> Party time, Woody. <laughs> Uh, I'd still take sushi in battle over a paracarry. Uh, 
Paracarry has, like, one useful move, and it's not even that useful. And you also don't learn it until you upgrade him to Ultra Rank. <laughs> I love how Red Yoshi is with the Red Yoshi kids. Like, what are you all crying about? I got home safely. <laughs> Whatever the, what the other ones care. For me, Paracarry su and Sushi are the worst. Wackalester is also close. Just because you don't get to use him that much, and he's pretty weak. Other than that, all of the partners are pretty useful in some way. But Goombario and Watt have to be my favorites. Alright, off to find the other Yoshi kids. I'm probably going to be <laughs> going back to the village to nap quite a few times, just because... Well, that's a good. that's like the only way to replenish star power. The only calm ones, yeah, are the Toad, Colorado, and the Red Kid. And the Red Kid's parent. If you go to the other screen and get, like, and see his parent, he, his parent's just like, Oh, good, I'm, I'm glad I got my kid back. I don't care about the other kids. Three out of fifteen, yeah. I mean, honestly, all of the Yoshis only care about their own kids. Uh, I really don't want to fight you, no. Oh man, it's actually harder to run away now than I was expecting. Perhaps Bo will be more useful in this situation. Or perhaps not. <laughs> I forgot you have to open the bushes a whole bunch. Whew. Mario's getting slower. Oh, poor little guy. Need light? There's this flower that spun me around, and I thought it was way cool, so I got on it. Then I spun around and around, and I was up in the air and flying, and then I ended up in here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. That is good, Yan Yoshi. Very good. Yeah, Sushi's, like, really useful for this world, especially once you get to the dungeon. But then after that, it's like, oh, but there are basically no fire enemies anymore, so her water attacks don't really have a whole lot of use. Unless you're playing on an emulator, in which case Tidal Wave is super broken. Hey, dude. <laughs> ah! They were playing hide-and-seek it. I, I couldn't get find anyone. I was wandering around, I got lost. Yeah, you're right, Sushi. The jungle's scary. Thanks for coming out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Mario, will you be it for me in Hide and Seek instead? I'm going home. That's kind of what I was already doing. Also, star pieces. Uh, there's literally no reason for me to get any star pieces. Because apart, apart from the Attack FXA badge, all of the badges you get from Shooting Star Summit from the star pieces cost more than one BP to equip. Hi, dude. Are you eating your spear? <laughs> Come on. Darn it. He was being a jerk. So I don't know how this works. You've got a whole log and it falls and then it like merges into half a log. Oh, wait, no. Shoot. I forgot. They become hurt plants in the jungle. Mario's like, I'm giving away all my cash.
Yeah, right now, I am actually playing this on the native Nintendo 64. Ah, someone help me! I'm so scared, I want to go home! Hey, you, pick on someone your own size. Yeah, so Sushi's Tidal Wave isn't amazing for me, but it's pretty good still. Not that I'll ever get it. <laughs> get out of here, putrid piranhas. Also, Out of Sight is an amazing ability. I can't smell your breath. Thank goodness. <laughs> Maybe it's a little cheap to do it this way, since I just keep going back to the camp and be like, I'll sleep so I can do more Star Storm, but... Oh, sweet! Just enough for a level up. <laughs> That'll refill my stats. Ah! Are they all gone? I thought those fiends were going to eat me right up! Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what you grown-ups tell me to do from now on. I don't ever want to do bad fiends anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now, bye! So I believe there's just one left now. That's- that's nice. Using the N64 controllers- hey, hey, out of here, Fuzzy. Even though the N64 controller is not amazing, I prefer the GameCube controller in basically every regard, I do like the N64 controller for N64 games. Ugh, morning. Hey, it's Mario! What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? We were playing hide-and-seek, and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely, though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. We found the mall! And now we get this nice shortcut. It, it's it's very bizarre, the N64 controller, because it's got, like, the three different places to grip it. It's like, was it made for a free-handed alien? Also, the control stick is not fantastic. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. Got that right! You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. <laughs> Colorado's like, he left me to die twice, so whatever. I've heard from your companion, Colorado, that you are a jerk and that you wish to go to Mount Lava Lava. Since you have blessed our village with your kindness, I will show you the best way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Huh? I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. Look at the Jade Raven. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of the island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute! You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want to go to that lava lava? It's very hot and very dangerous inside the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. But you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this! Uh-huh. Oh. Oh! You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? A touching story! Romantic stories like that. Just to touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it! I can't let you go alone! I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through the jungle, you'll need me anyway. Come, Mario! That volcano isn't getting any cooler. That's true. I like how Raphael the Raven went from being a boss in Yoshi's Island to being like, oh, now, now he's like the guider of the Yoshis. I guess turning into a constellation really did a number on him. Okay, hang on. 
I got three snowman dolls, two life streams, a stopwatch, and a jam and jelly. I think I need some more stuff. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. All right, take my jam and jelly. Don't need the stopwatch. Okay, do I have health-fulfilling items? I've got one super shroom. <laughs> one super shroom. Take the super shroom and I'll take the maple syrup. I will find items in Mount Lava Lava as well, so... Alright. <laughs> what did you think was sarcasm? Sushi being like, what a touching story. <laughs> we put a jade statue of a raven inside a non-jade statue of a raven, and that causes the non-jade statue of the raven to scoot. I don't know how that makes sense, but... <laughs> so she's like, you want to do this to save your girlfriend? That's touching, but you're still stupid. I'm not going along. <laughs> I know not what. I want bow. What are all these blocks just doing hanging out in the woods? Also, this is one powerful stream of water if it's able to lift a freaking boulder up. <laughs> Don't know how that works, but apparently it does. Oh. Whoops. Uh, hey, um... It can lift a boulder, but a, a single block made of wood? Nah. Oh, is it this time now? It is this time now. That's my best putrid piranha voice. Now, I just really have to hope that white Magikoopa doesn't heal their HP too much. Or alternative... Hang on a sec. No, I really don't want white Magikoopa healing, so... I'm actually going to slap him. <laughs> no! My health! Ouch. Well, I'm kind of bad at defending. Whoops. Goodbye, putrid piranhas. Thankfully, I think this is the last fight we're forced to do until we get to the boss. So, that's nice. Goodbye. <laughs> and check out those star points, though. Also, now that I'm in danger... <laughs> now that I'm in danger, Last Stand and Power Rush are going to be active, so that's nice. I adore this music so much. Hey, man. What's up? Oh, welcome. Sorry, I'm so surprised, but I can't even remember the last time someone came up here. It sure has been a while. 
What? Oh yes, affirmative. I'm the master of this island. Call sign, Raphael the Raven. If you have any problems at all, just let me know, okay? Go ahead, out with it. Yeah, there's no way to the volcano. I want to get in. <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh, you're Mario. Roger that. I remember back when you were a baby, the Yoshi you were riding turned me into a constellation. That was pretty bad, but I've seen the light since then. You can't find a way to reach the volcano, is that it? Yeah, that's the problem. Not for me, though. I'll help. To be honest with you, I knew you'd ask something like that. I got a message from the stars, so I knew you were coming. I got something exceptional to give you out that ought to help you on your way. It won't help me on my way, not in this playthrough, but that's for later. Right now, let's take care of that volcano problem. <laughs> I love their little feet. They're really cute. <laughs> Excellent response time, Ravens. We've got work to do. I'll brief you only once, so I want your full attention. And it must be done just as quickly as possible. Got it? I should hope so. Let's move, Ravens. Follow me. Those are either babies, or he's just a massively massive raven. I think it's the second. Heave ho! Well, he's magic. Come on, then. His feet are so plump. It's fantastic. They look like the feet on, like, little plushies. Oh, I could have just gone through that bush to go straight to his house. Why didn't I do that earlier? <laughs> hey, dude. Aye, aye, all right. Is everyone ready? Now, Ravens, get to work. <gasps> I love that the Yoshi Elder is like, I know just the way to get to the volcano. Ask Raphael the Raven to do it for you. This won't take long. His ravens are good workers. Hmm? What in blazes? Caw, caw, caw. Finished, caw! Roger that. You can reach the volcano now. Oh, top notch! Really, I hate would appear we can enter the volcano, dear boy. What luck, eh, Mario? I shan't delay another moment. The ancient treasures are calling me. Onward! That Koopa, what a maverick. Charging into the volcano. He's bold, I'll give him that. Bold and certifiably nuts. But enough about that. I want to give you that important item I was talking about. Oh, <laughs> there were five ravens, and now there's only four. <laughs> Rip raven number five. Here, take it. We get the altar stone, which we can't use in this playthrough. That's an altar stone. I found it a long time ago in the depths of this jungle. Now that you have this stone, when you find a super block, you can upgrade one of your party members from super rank to ultra rank. Strengthening the members of your party will be key to your success. Trust me. Well, then I'm screwed. <laughs> That's what a star spirit told me in a dream. Use it and prosper. I've got to go now. Over and out. Poor Raven number five. Either that or he's still up in the tree waiting to give us the briefing. But I don't think so. Oh, that, yeah, there he is. Never mind. Caw, 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 caw. I love all the zip lines in this dungeon. Also, they built a zip line real fast. I'm gonna take a nap before going in there. I want full star meter. Because I'm not fighting anything or replenishing that star meter until I reach the boss, and I want full star meter for the boss. Are you kidding me? Plus, it's a really short trip. The Toad slogan is refresh your body and soul. What if two people want to take a nap at the same time? I forgot the fifth raven he'll hunt out operating the zip line. Get in the basket. Thank you, Mario. Colorado's like, while you were taking a nap, I cleared all the puzzles in the dungeon. <laughs> no thanks to you. <laughs> If he wasn't a coma, that would be tragic. 
Identified as Mario. Alert. Report to boss. Alert. Alert. My favorite dungeon. Hmm. I sense danger here. All adventures are dangerous, though. So what of it? We must press on toward the glory of an unknown treasure. Yeah! What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava! Wuss! Easy as that. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Just in case. I love the music in this dungeon, and just the way it looks, with like the smoke on the top. It's, it's very well done. Hi, Paracarry. You are the worst partner in the game, by a long shot. But I gotta use you. For overworld shenanigans. You're like Flurry from Paper Mario Files in Your Door, where like, you're terrible in battle, but you're needed in the overworld quite a bit. And now the moment we've been waiting for. We get the Ultra Hammer! Thankfully I'm allowed to get the hammer and jump upgrades. That would be awful if I wasn't. I just realized, one thing I, be I believe I can equip the badge that's down here. I believe. Can't remember if it takes one or two BP. We get the Dizzy Stomp badge. Yeah, just one. Okay, cool. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but, you know, might as well grab it now. The, uh, the rules for this are only upgrade BP. No, don't use more than three BP at once, and don't equip badges that cost more than one BP to equip. So I can have three badges equipped that each cost one BP, essentially. Yes, excellent! Now, Mario, time no time to hang about. Onward to glory! This is a short dungeon, I just remembered. Hmm? It smells like treasure! Treasure, old boy! Make way, I'm going ahead. No, I'm not allowed to equip HP or FP plus because those both cost free BP to equip. I'm also not allowed to upgrade my party members. Thankfully, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not prohibited in any way to use specific items. If I couldn't use life shrooms, that would be bad. Oh, hey. Money. Zach's got the money. Blast. Yeah. Only one BP badges. The fact that I can't equip things like Hammer Throw is throwing me off.
No, no, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh-uh. Not happening. That's the other, my other source of cash, fire bars. Mario, wait, wait a moment. Oh yeah, you're still here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> According to the information I've gathered, the hidden treasure should be right around here, but I need to go a little further. Well, you might want to get out of the way. <laughs> Bo looks very out of place in here. I'm not sure if I've ever used Bo in Mount Lava Lava. I normally use, like, Watt, Sushi, and Goombario. And occasionally Cooper, because he can hit the lava bubbles without burning his butt. Out of the way, Colorado. <laughs> oh man, he is literally crying tears of pain. Barely nicked me, old boy. Oh, my poor shell. Don't worry, he's the cartoon character. He'll be back to normal in this room. Close, so very close. My treasure hunting senses are simply going mad right now. My intuition tells me it's over here. Cool. Haven't taken any damage yet. Super true. Maple syrup. Oh, huh? There seems to be nothing. Alas, even my finely honed intuition can be wrong on occasion. I shall not give up. Let's head back to the other way. Perhaps the treasure is a bit deeper down in the volcano. Yeah, we're already at the end of Mount Lava Lava. I forgot how short this dungeon is. If you... <laughs> Even if you do get all this stuff hidden in here, it's still not that much longer. Oh, yeah, I'll save. Just in case I die to the Lava Piranha. <laughs> he just straight up dies, roll credits. I mean, Colorado's not needed for the end of the game. Mario still approaching, identified as searching for Star Spirit. Code Red, report to boss. Alert, alert. So, Bo is actually going to be our best bet for this fight. My favorite fight in the game. I love this boss so much. Wait, shoot! No, 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 hang on, my badge setup is wrong. <laughs> Good thing I saved. I forgot to take off speedy spin and put on something else. I am tough, Artie. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Alright. Last stand and power rush. I like those. Ideally, I'd really like ice power, but alas, costs too much. Mega rush, I don't think is going to be that... Well, hang on a second, actually. No, I'll, do, I'll deal with just last stand and power rush. I don't need a mega rush for that. Um, Bo is going to be using out of sight, so I don't need anything that has FP involved. Um... Oh, refund. I'll do refund. Because I'm going to be using some items in this battle. <laughs> as I was saying, my favorite boss in the game right here. Yuck, 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 yuck. You made it, Mario. You guys, bad guys. Bad guys come to steal Star Spirit. Bad guys who come to steal Star Spirit get hurt. We won't let it happen. No. We trap Star Spirit. We get this volcano. Volcano is ours. Good deal. We make feats hot for you. We beat you, Mario. Alright. Well, we're going to start off with two Star Storms. We gotta take out those lava buds as soon as possible. Cause 
if I have a Piranha can actually deal a lot of damage to me. If, uh, because I don't have Fire Shield or Ice Power equipped. And this is why I took a nap before entering the volcano. There we go. Crumple up his lava buds. So now they can't attack anymore. Oh, sweet! <gasps> oh, I should have equipped Mega Rush. Because then if I didn't get hit by his next attack... Well, actually, no. That's a bad idea. Because I doubt I could kill him before he killed me. And I don't really want to use all my life streams if I can help it. Darn it, I don't even get the benefits of... I don't even get the benefits of close call, or not close call, of Power Rush or Last Stand, because they don't work when you only have one HP, which is really stupid. Well, shucks, I'm just gonna let him hit me with his first attack. I'm not even gonna defend against it, because that'll just put me right into the danger zone. <laughs> which boosts my power level. Now for form number two. And this is where our snowman dolls come in handy. Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. <laughs> Very satisfying, and I'm so glad I'm in danger while this is happening. Mario, you shan't fight alone! Colorado to the rescue! Hiya! Ow, ow, ow! Hot! Oh, it burns! Really? So sorry, old chap, but that's all I can do at the moment. Good luck with all this. <laughs> it's the little things like that that make Paper Mario such a fantastic game. They did not have to put that in, but they still did. I love his face, he's just like, mmm, frowny, frowny face there. Oh, you want some more? I got some more. <laughs> and that is why snowman dolls are some of my favorite items in the game, just for this point. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I really like that fight. And we have 40 star points. Yeah! We didn't even have to use Out of Sight more than once. <laughs> Thanks, Proxima. Well, that's that then. Then now there's nothing between us and some treasure, eh? Let's go. Oh, and now we get a Star Spirit that I'm probably never going to use in the run. Because she takes too much star power to use, and her effect doesn't really give me the full bonus. <laughs> Paper Mario 1.5, Colorado gets injured by an unusually agile duck. <laughs> I'd play that. Honestly, I just want Nintendo to make another, like, real Paper Mario game like this. Because, I mean... I like Super Paper Mario, but it's not, like, to this nearly to the same level as the first two. I actually thought Sticker Star was fun for the first world, and then it got kind of annoying. Venturing deep into the steaming Mount Lava Lava, who cares? We found Miss Star. But hey, Don, what's that sound? Mario, this way! We must hurry!
The treasure doesn't seem to be anywhere around here. Ah, where could it be? Aha! Treasure! Uh, no, it's some sort of starfish. Hmm, this won't do. The adventure is never over until the treasure is found. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Perhaps that horrible fiery monster had it and was hiding it somewhere. Yes, that's it. I'll just run back and check. Hmm? Hmm? Well, what's this trembling, then? Probably nothing. Kids with fireworks, no doubt. Now, after that treasure... No, wait! Yeah, hot! So hot! The... That's lava, isn't it? It's coming near! We must flee! N no The treasure is still here! I just know it! Mario, this volcano's going to erupt any time now. It's far too dangerous to go back the way you came. We have to, to escape another way. I feel slight wind coming from this cracked wall. There could be a room beyond. Mario, can you pull up this wall? I cannot! No, but Bombette can! <laughs> Mario, hurry! The lava's getting higher! No, not show out. I love the escape sequence. Ah! I knew it! At last! The treasure is right there! So close! Can't resist! By the stars, I'll risk my life for that treasure! My treasure! No! Even though it's in a wooden box, the treasure is totally unharmed. Yeah! <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Peach's peaceful castle. <laughs> hey, Twink, how would you feel about sneaking out of here again? Shall we try? <laughs> Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold! And here I thought you were a gentle and delicate... <laughs> oh, I... I am delicate. I'm behaving like a delicate princess just like the ministers taught me to. Now come on, let's bust out of here. I love to be delicate. <laughs> That's sexist. The feminists would not go for that nowadays. <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. <laughs> anyway, let's go for it. That's, that, that's kind of one of the reasons I like Twink. He has a cute design and also he's kind of sassy at times. <laughs> The plot. Colorado enters an obscure melee tournament and gets absolutely obliterated. Wave dashing. <laughs> oh. Wave dashing in melee. That's not something I can relate to. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Don't mind me, just the princess escaping again. <laughs> no one needs to invest. You'd think after the fifth time Peach escaped, Bowser would be like, Alright, that's it. We're having guards in her room checking out what she's doing. But Bowser's probably just like, oh, the guards are being stupid, they're asleep at the door. <laughs> we'll put on five guards. This Prince Peach gets out again. All five guards fell asleep. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ah, ah, Princess Peach, how'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room. Now, hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Mmm, yeah! Yeah, you might be onto something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? Uh, come this way. Well, we won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. It's called Paper Mario. We're, we're set up right over there. The guards don't seem that bad. Oh no, Princess Peach! Whoa! Copa Corp presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off. It's 64th because of Nintendo 64, you know. I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. Peach is very confused. Let's get right down to it. Hey, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. 
Press A when you think you know the answer, okay, folks? The winner will get us a gorgeous, fabulous prize. <laughs> Not then it'll get us a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also given prizes just for participating, so everyone will be a winner. That's the kind of show we are. The, the Bowser's guards actually seem like pretty decent people. <laughs> it's just a shame that they're serving Bowser. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Mount Lava Lava? Oh, uh, all right, Princess Peach. That's the Lava Prana. That's correct! We also would have accepted Goomba. <laughs> Let's go on to the next question, okay, folks? Question two. Where did Master Huff and Puff imprison the Star Spirit? Princess Peach, it's like you played the game before. That was in Flower Fields. That's correct. Okay, next question three. What is the name of the scary round monster living in dry, dry ruins? That would be <laughs> Goomba. No, 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 chump. That's correct. <laughs> You've still got a chance to make a comeback. Question four. How would you get to Flower Fields? Pray. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. The answer was by passing through the Flower Gate. <laughs> it's still anyone's game. Question five. What's the name of the person who King Bowser really loves? All right, Princess Peach. He actually has a huge crush on Cami Koopa. No, Princess Peach. That's correct. <laughs> Twink looked a little too happy to hear that. Oh, but careful now. The questions are getting really tough, don't you know? <laughs> Is that so? Question six. What fane is most deeply related to flower fields? Money? No, flowers. That's correct. <laughs> the next question is an easy one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy around? <laughs> The Koopa Bros. I'm sorry, that's wrong. The answer was Keen Bowser. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Just realize, this is basically like Southern Guy meets Owen Wilson, as, as far as voices go. Think carefully now. Question eight. What's the name of the ghosts who live in and around Forever Forest? All right, Mater. What's is it? It's the boo. <laughs> oh, correct. Use your memory on this one. Question nine. What's the name of the area just to the south of the post office in Toad Town? Uh, the Flower Garden? Ah, that's pr uh, yeah, I suppose. Now for the final question. Stay calm, everyone. Question ten. Where is Peach's castle now? Um, on Bowser's castle. That's correct. <laughs> Wow, the other guys sucked. Our buzzers were broken! <laughs> so, the 64th trivia quiz-off has ended in great success. The winner is... Wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach. Here's your prize. We get the jam and jelly! A highly nutritious snack, which restores 50 FP. We can also sell it for a whole lot of cash. Thank you for coming, everyone. It's been grand. We'll see you at the next trivia quiz-off. I want to say that the other two, the Koopa Trolls had their buzzers broken. That's why they never chimed in. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. I get two. We get the Sneaky Parasol, a fabulous parasol given to quiz show participants. This is a Sneaky Parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine! <laughs> they're, they're really stupid, aren't they? Uh, sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. <laughs> You gave me a jar of jam. That's okay. If I had a choice between, it's like, which would you rather have a prize as a prize? A parasol that lets you turn into other people and like take on their appearance, or a jar of jam? I'm gonna take the parasol. <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating. So what do you expect? Heck, if it was literally just a regular old umbrella or a jar of jam, I'd probably take the umbrella. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks like fun! I'm gonna join in! They should have asked Bowser. They really should have. Huh, what? You've already finished? Aw, oh, of all the rotten luck. Ah! Princess Peach! What's she doing here? She sneaked out again! Ah! You, take Princess Peach back to her room now! Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. No, not again. <laughs> Bowser, just you gotta, you gotta keep your pants on. Oh, what was me? My beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is worth more valuable <laughs> is worth more valuable. Is worth more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think, this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside, and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. 
But... <sighs> Dear Mario, you've saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. I'm Miss Star. Mister? No, Miss Star. Mario's star energy goes up to five. Mario can now use Smooch. Oh, yeah. A raunchy new star spirit move. With Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. But it's tw it's plus 20. I don't need that much. I only can hold 10. I have to go back to Star Haven for now. But if you need me, please call me at any time. No, thanks. I'm just kind of going to use Star Storm pretty much the whole game. It never gets bad. Oh, I was so close. The treasure right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of bloomin' great starfish. Dane, he is fast! He walked really slowly off screen and then just teleported. Alright, well, before we go back. Uh, no! I did not want to activate the hurt plant. Am I going to lose, like, three coins for this? So I'll be down to 64 coins? Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so first we're going to open up this treasure chest. It's the Volcano Vase! He did all of that for a vase? That doesn't seem like a worthy trade. Hey, dude. Oh, hello. How are you doing? What? You want that seed? Oh, I completely forgot you. You never even talked to me, so I gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I'm so generous that I just... I, ha I just have to give someone to everything. That's not what I said. I have to give something to everyone. <laughs> I mean, if you have to have a personality flaw, then being too generous is probably a pretty good one. Hey, Volcano. Vol I can't talk today. Hey, Colorado, you want this vase? Give me the seed instead. Mario! Good heavens, it's the treasure! How on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? You... You are giving it to me? Oh, glory! Marvelous! I completely forgive you for leaving me to die twice. Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers! Yes, whom? I suppose it's only proper that I give you this as thanks. Yay, the last magical seed! A baboon gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's a quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition! It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away! Back to Toad Town with us. Okay, so... I don't want to get out what, because we're about to encounter another boss fight. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Someone dropped their letter. That's their fault. I'm not I'm not the mailman. Even though I have the mailman with me. Okay. Badges. Last stand. Power rush sounds pretty good. Actually... Yeah, we don't have to change our badges. Well, Mario, let's just go back. No, let's go back to Toad Town. What a heady adventure! I do, a lava lava island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Wow! <laughs> yes, I <laughs> did it! I swam all the way. All right, Mario. Now I'm gonna give you a beating you'll never. What? Wait! Where are you going? Wait, Mario! Wait up! Come back here, you chicken! Shoot! What a peaceful day for a whale ride. So beautiful. This fight's gonna be easy. <laughs> Let the 
da. I didn't notice anything. Did you hear a weird sound following us out there in this trip? So props to Junior Troopy. He's exactly as fast as a whale, pretty much. Thank heavens we've arrived. Now, Tuna Fairy is one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio. Yeah, go back to your wife. Ha wife. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now, Mario, you're mine this time. Yeah, him again. <laughs> Here it comes. You, you better be ready. <laughs> ah, oh no! Oh, that's swimming! My HP is almost gone! Well, I'll make up for my low HP by using my new skills. Check this out! More power! I know all your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear? The spike? The wings? You can't attack me now! I'm the smartest fighter alive! I can't be defeated! Wahaha! <laughs> Actually, you can be defeated pretty easily. Because Star Storm pierces defense. If, he actually would be a tough fight if he had 40 HP, though. Yeah! What in the... I didn't think you could do that! Is that even legal? You knew I could do that. I did that against the last fight for you. Oh, he's powerful. Holy cow. I forgot he dealt six damage per attack. You've been a very bad, bad boy. Goodbye. <laughs> 27 star points, yeah. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have wings! If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP! Then I probably would have beaten Mario in no time! Stupid, stupid, stupid! <sighs> yeah, that was pretty dumb of you, Junior Troopa. But I love you anyway. Oh, hey! You're too- Whoa, I just realized- Goom- Oh! Goomama, I just realized, A, she has fangs, B, she's got eyebrows that make her look really angry. Oh, wow. Oh, that's terrifying. Wait, are those- are those buck teeth, or are those, like, rosy cheeks? Because she's got lipstick in the- Oh, Goomama is terrifying. <laughs> Why did I have to discover that? <laughs> Hey, bro! What's up? Alright, I'm taking my Ultra Shroom out. What else? Yeah, that's it. Hey, ya taste tea. Can you make the most legendary item in the game for me? Oh, shoot. Stop. I forgot. I put my jam and jelly in the cold storage. Whoops. Got 64 coins. Can I buy something? Nope. Can't buy any of those. Well, you guys know the drill now. We're going to sleep. I just realized, is this the one and I just realized Twink never actually comes to visit us to tell us about the flower fields. Mario just has to figure it out all by his day himself. Hey! Give me the jam and jelly.
At this point, I can sell my snowman doll for the last one I have, because that's really not going to do anything. There we go. Now I can make some recipes. I'm going to make the Jelly Ultra and sell it for a ton of cash. That can fuel my pig farming. <laughs> So I got a pig farm going to try to get as much repel gel as I can. I think I'm going to need that for the final boss. Because the final boss is pr a pretty lengthy fight. Alright. Let's start with the easy ones. Watt really likes merging with Mario's head here, I've noticed. <laughs> Two noses wearing a visor, basically. Jelly Ultra, best item in the game. Alright, which we are going to sell for like 120 coins. It's really good. Hey, welcome! 150 coins! Yeah, that's worth it. And I'm so glad I got multi-bounce. Multi-bounce is gonna really help out in this world, actually. In fact, before I forget, I'm going to unequip these two, equip Mega Rush and multi-bounce. And let's go pig farming. <laughs> I love little oinks. Love them. Want to learn about them? No. I have an empty pen now, but I've gotten one repel gel out of them, so... Alright, tiger. Waiting for the, mu the mystery pattern. <laughs> little oinks is such a weird gimmick in this, but it's kind of cool. Another tiger. I think they get Thunder Rages. Also, these are pigs that hatch out of eggs. They're like Tamagotchis. Oh, the black little oinks are the worst. <laughs> because they give dried shrooms. At least I think that's what they give. Oh, come on! Mario's spending all of his money on pigs! <laughs> Dried shrooms. <laughs> oh! The American one. I don't know. Dried shrooms probably aren't the worst item in the game. That might go to, like, dusty hammers. Or tasty tonics. <laughs> Especially since, like, if you get poison, you can just use Refresh. Chances are you're gonna have one star meter left. Man, they love giving me the tiger ones, don't they? Normal one? The only reason to buy a Dusty Hammer is when you have to, in order to get the, uh... See Mustafa. Other than that, it's like it's a worse version of Hammer Throw. Ooh, bright white one. I can't remember which little winks give you what stuff. Ooh, flower one. 
Some people invest their money in the stock market. Mario invests his money in pigs. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they get Thunder Ages. I wish there was a way to... Well, there is a way to get into the pen without scaring them off, but it requires insanely precise jumps, frame perfect, and you barely can make it in time. And I'm not spending 110 coins to get a single Thunder Rage. No siree. <gasps> Ooh, shiny white one. I believe that gives a Jam and Jelly. Which is admittedly pretty good, but I'm still waiting for the mystery little link. So much for spending my money wisely from the Joey Ultra. <laughs> Honestly, though, if I could just get one more Fiend of Repel Gel, that would be really nice. Repel Gel is the best item in the game. Ooh, Shooting Star. That's pretty good, but... Not worth, like, the 200 coins I've spent. Wow. Got two silver little links. I think I'm going to hold off on buying any more little links. I want at least a small trust fund. Bubbles come from a flower field land called Flower Fields. They say the flowers in the flower fields are in trouble. We need four kinds of magical seeds. Well, you're in luck. She's like, by the way, Merlin's been looking for you. I don't care! <laughs> I know what he wants, and I don't want what he wants. You got the seed! Thank you so much! This is most people's least favorite world in the game, and it, it is my least favorite world too, but it's not terrible. At first, it looked like the flowers were blowing, but suddenly a door appeared! It must be... You must be able to go to Flower Fields from here! Mario, Flower Fields needs your aid! Please help! Okie dokie! Chapter 6, Dark Days in the Flower Fields. This is a fun world. There's just a bit too much backtracking for my liking. What ho? Now who might that be? Ho 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 ho! Up here, son. They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in the flower fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means a star spirit here is in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now, because I can't move, because I'm a tree, you lackwit. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huffin Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh, oh, you are going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff, then? Well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the cloudy climb. There is no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Cool. Uh, let's get out low. And here's the thing. I want to try to get down to 1 HP. I do these upcoming fights. Oh, hi, Bezap. You're the exact character I wanted to damage me.
Beautiful. The zaps pack a punch. They are bees, after all. All right. Let's unequip Speedy Spin and equip Last Stand. I'm gonna need that if I want to get down to just one HP. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir. You look strong and capable. Would you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. And this guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me! My seeds and I are counting on you to save us! Alright. Not the fight I wanted, but the fight I deserve. Out of here. Cool! This is exactly what I need. Beautiful, but it's exactly what I wanted. Because these guys have a lot of HP. They have 12 HP apiece. <laughs> oh no, doggone it! This is gonna restore my HP back to full! <laughs> Stupid level up. Alright, how about you? Okay, you're just the one. Alright, this is good. Alright, stupid moles. Let's deal with them. So now I gotta get back down to low HP. This is the best strategy ever. Beautiful! Cool. <laughs> Ten damage from a single hammer swipe now. That's pretty great. Alright, now this is where the fun begins. Oh, dog on it! Out of sight, Vegemite, Larry boy. Okay, well, I screwed the pooch on that one. Nessie, welcome, welcome. I, I gotta hope that I can defend against this rock. Yes! Okay, that was way too close for comfort there. <laughs> I almost died to a bunch, to a mole throwing a rock at my head. And I really have no one to blame but myself there. Okay. Well, I'm kind of low on FP now. That's not great. Do these restore FP? No, they store HP. Dunk on it. Mario's just gonna drink some maple syrup right now. <laughs> I 
Alright, this is the last mole. Now let's hope I can actually do the multi-bounce properly. Beautiful. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I kind of forgot I only had 5 FP, so I can only do one multi-bounce followed by out of sight. This is why we have Star Storm. Star Storm is so good! This is, like, possibly just the best of the Star Spirit abilities, and you get it after the third chapter. Because it only takes two star power meters, and it pierces defense. The fact that it pierces defense is where it really shines. And I already... <laughs> I almost got two whole level ups just from those molds. Oh, yippee! Hooray, hurrah, yahoo, wee! You got rid of the Monty moles! Oh, thank you, thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are! We got the magical bee! It's twitching as if to say, Plant me this instant! <laughs> hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Hehe, <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! You shouldn't have given it to me, though, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, okay. The last star spirit in this game is... Not awful, it just takes way too much SP to use. And also, it can be... The same thing can be done with, like, a Fright Jar. Um, the one you get for this world, for Flower Fields, is terrible. Like, I don't know why they put it in. That's one place where Thousand Year Door did a much better job with the, uh, star powers. Because, like, all, all of the ones from Thousand Year Door are useful in some way. In this one, it's like, you're never gonna use the Flower Fields ability. Hey, welcome to the Shroom Grocery. Oh, wait. I, why? <laughs> Mario needs to take a nap, and he's like, I'll go to the shop! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Chuck, you selling anything? Oh, Double Dip. I actually think I could equip Double Dip. I don't think there's really any purpose in having Double Dip, but we'll see. The best is in Thousand Year Door if you equip like a whole bunch of super appeal peas and have your partner appeal and it completely refills your star meter and then you can just use Supernova and like kill all enemies on screen. It's fantastic. Double dip takes free BP? Really? I don't remember that. I thought it only took one. That's terrible. I knew there was a reason I didn't like double dip. Okay, I swear, I know, I knew a guy when I was young who basically looked like that if he wasn't a flower. But he was much nicer. Oh, wrong screen. Art Attack was great. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? <laughs> no. I'm sorry I couldn't possibly let you through. Although perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. Hey, you'll like this. It's your same color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. This is it. Great color, full flavor. It's perfect. You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Oh, wait, is that a girl? I had a heart at the end of it, so I'd assume that's a girl. Oh, hi. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh -uh. nope. Well, that was a fail. No, I really don't want to go up against a Bazap and two Rough Puffs. Yellow Berry, nice. Oh, it's my favorite flower here. It's Posy! Look at this crystal tree! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posy. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose! Oh, how rude! Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. <laughs> Your nose is pretty nice, too. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? She's very sweet. 
It's the fertile soil. Absolutely pollutant free. This smells like very good soil. Your nose will be perfect soon. <laughs> Thanks, Posey. I appreciate it. Oh man, they're good at homing in on you. <laughs> Mario's here to let you know that it's okay to run away sometimes. Stinky herb. This herb smells kind of bad, but it restores 5 FP. Not the bees! No! Hey, you look familiar. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something just sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? <laughs> Stinky herb. No, yellow berry. Mm, mm, mm. Bravo! Magnificent! A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring! It reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. I'm truly taken aback by your cultured taste. Of course you may go. Hey, I'm glad to have you here too, Proxima. Yo! My butt! Let's try this again, shall we? Yo! My butt! <laughs> Paracarry, when I say down C, you gotta work with me. Maybe I have to be standing still for him to do that. We get a blueberry. Guess what we're using that one for. Wait, why am I taking out sushi? There's no water around here. Dizzy dial. I'm probably not gonna use that. Hello, madam. Oh, oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible fiend that rides in the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh, no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Her face looks like Kirby. Oh! A prince. Well, he actually looks like more a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. Um, to tell you the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrid cloud creature? Yes. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. I mean, you can't see this, but the person who plays the game can. Please find it. Yeah, it's literally Kirby's face on a flower. It's fantastic. <laughs> Give me that jam. I don't care if it's lavender flavored. Wee, wee. Oh! Ouch. Ouch. You know what? Might as well do it one more time just so I'm in danger and can reap the benefits of Power Rush and, Meg and Last Stand. Alright, cool. We're out of here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and I have full star power as well, because I took the nap after the Monty Molds. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm tired of guarding this stupid old gate. I'm so, so hungry. Hey, you there. I don't suppose you had anything good to eat that you'd like to give me. Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you through here, and I won't tell anybody. 
Oh, blueberry. I'm sure this will be gross. Oh, how delicious! Such a splendid taste. There are good blue fiends. I'm filled with hope again. Go, go and never feel blue. I'll never forget you. Oh, I didn't realize this poor flower is probably depressed because he's blue. The poor guy. All right, who should we? Oh, so we'll definitely want Watt for this area. Hey, Spiny. We get a shooting star for that. Ow! Nope, that's bad. I don't have time! <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> nope, uh-uh, nope. nope. <laughs> I think flowers would prefer flower food. Well, they're special. They just want to eat their color, basically. Hey, where'd you drop it, idiot? Huff and Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Aw, oh, man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It's just gotta be around here somewhere. It's just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. What's for the- let's look at the stone later. Let's go rough this dude up. No, oh, no, Mario! Are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right mental state. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll fight anyway. Here comes Mario. Well, looks like we're in the right position for Star Storm. When are we not in the right position for Star Storm? Hello, Eskiron. Welcome. I, I'm sorry. Your text was the same color as Wary Spoops. I didn't realize it was your name. <laughs> Oh wow, these guys are terrible. Granted, I have last stand on, so... Wrong Lakitu wanted to jump on the other one. <laughs> I love how the cloud goes like... Bleh! When you hit them, it's great. Oh. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill him. Spiny's have more HP than I'd thought. I thought they had only had three. Or maybe that's a thousand your door. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Goodbye, Spiny. Well, that was more star points than I Wow, that was 40. Oh, well, I level up for that. Lovely. Oh, I just realized I have a. Yeah. Oh, Nessie. So for, th for this run, it's the level zero run. How it works is basically, if I, I'm trying not to fight any enemies, if I ever do level up, I have to level up BP. Uh, when I maxed out on BP, I'm going to have to level up FP, but I can never use more than five of it at a time. Uh, for BP, I'm only allowed to use three, because that's what your starting one is. I'm never allowed to upgrade my partners, and I'm never allowed to equip badges that cost more than one BP to equip. This way. Now for my least favorite flower. Oh, hello. It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? I really want to say no, but... Really? I'm that beautiful? You're so honest and charming, and underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. I like you, and because I like you, I'll show you this. This stone! Isn't it beautiful? I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. What? What did you say? I should give you this stone? Oh dear. You're saying Lily's in trouble about this? How very sad. Oh well. It can't be helped. This stone is mine now, you see. You're gonna let her die for this? Okay, fine. You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Huh? How sad. Really? How very pitiful. 
As hard as it is to believe, that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there will be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see, tell you what, if you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So let's wait till then. You are the worst. You are the worst. Vanity is one of the seven deadly sins, you know. Alright, now let's hope that the spinies don't attack me. I love Speedy Spin. <laughs> Speedy Spin is fantastic. Alright. <laughs> yeah, the flower fields is just a lot of backtracking for the corridors. That rough puff always gets in my way. Out of here. Hey, Posey, I'm back. Oh, Rosie told me to told you to bring her something beautiful. Rosie really likes beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved. Have you noticed? You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots, so maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. Hmm. Uh. Hey, yeah! Whew. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that, Barry. Posey's the best. She helps us out more than anyone else, and she doesn't ask for anything in return. I hate you, Rough Buff. Unless you're in a pastry. Rough Puff pastry's good. Shh. Ouch. Well, that puts me straight into danger zone. Alright. Now we gotta be a little careful going back here. There! Oh no. Alright, sweet. The spinies are actually easy to avoid. It's the stupid rough puff that's not. I went the wrong way again. Yeah. All right, Rosie. Have you found anything? Oh, how pretty! I love it! That's much nicer than this ugly old stone. You'd better hurry back and give this stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. No, she almost died because of you, actually. Posey saved her. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Who's the most beautiful flower in all flower fields? That is me, of course. Yep, yeah, nope, no, no, no. Nope. Nope, mm -mm. That would be Posey. <laughs> Here in town, there was only she who was as beautiful as me. On the inside. <laughs> Wee! Alright, got it. Okay, now we gotta backtrack back to Lily. <laughs> Noticing a trend yet. Now we get out sushi. I must say, I'm looking forward to the boss of this world. At level 1. Or level 0, however you want to say it. Oh, it's the water stone! Quickly, put it in the hole there! This is a cool part. That water is really pretty. 
And it makes the rainbow, too. Look how pretty that water is. Oh, it's water! Sweet water! The spring is full of water! I'm floating again! Oh, this is paradise. Thank you so very much! I'll give you some miracle water from this spring. Here you are. I got the miracle water! Very cold water. It glitters in the sun. This is the most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. If you use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow up like gangbusters. Dang, that's a, that's a million dollar. Uh, but right, not right now, because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea! You should go see about getting the sun back in the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea about how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it. You saved me, after all. Okay, Kirby, I'll do what I can. Yeah, uh, the boss of this world kicked my butt as a kid many, many times as well, and it was by far the hardest boss in the game for me. Now, however, I know the tricks behind get, uh, defeating it. Okay, I'm full. I don't need the stinky herb. The bubble berries are cool. <laughs> Shine a flashlight on it. <laughs> if only that worked. I'll just feed it a yellow berry, because that apparently tastes like the sunlight. Actually, just in case... I mean, I know I have life shrooms on me, but I don't want to waste those if I can help it. Hi, my name's Bubble Plant. You want to know why my name's Bubble Plant? I'll tell you if you give me a bubble berry. Oh, awesome! Good going. Okay, get a load of this! <laughs> um... There! Isn't it great? In this case, Petunia suddenly appears with a gun. Uh, well, that was... fancy. Oh! Pfft. Uh, didn't really want to kill him. No! It was one pixel away, I should have been. Oh! Oh, thank you for doing this! This is the easy to dodge one. What's Magikoop gonna do? Oh, thank you for doing this, Magikoopa. <laughs> that badge is cause it's too expensive. Oh, this is also one of the best songs in the game. the mariachi theme. Hey. Hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. The clouds that came out of the Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built. Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. I'm a complete failure as the sun. All of those flowers and plants and flower fields are suffering. Where is it? You mean the Puff Puff machine? I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you think you could break the Puff Puff machine? Nah, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Poor son. We'll help you out. He 
Hey, hey, hold up. Wait, man. Hey, man. I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Lackalester. Uh, no, it's Michael. No, um... Oh, yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever. Never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I got orders from Huff and Puff. Sorry, man, but I gotta give you a bit of a beatdown. Like I said, man, sorry. Does that sound cool? Ha, <laughs> yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man! Son, you don't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> I know. Spike? <laughs> He's no oh, man! Oh, wow, he's more powerful than I remembered. He's more powerful than your average Wacka, too. By a good bit. He also has 50 HP, which is a lot. That's more HP than the Lava Piranha had. Oh no! Well, good thing I have my life shrimps on me. Oh, but I don't have refund equipped. I can't believe I died to Lackalester. That's embarrassing. There we go. Ah, oh, he was so close to death, too. Ugh, man, you're tough as nails! I give up, man! Go on, do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys you've defeated. Fire flower in the eye. Pow block. Wait! Ah, oh, no, Lackalulu! No, please! Please have mercy on my poor sweet Lackalester! Ah, oh, don't call me Lackalester! It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month. Come on now, you forgot too, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason, it makes me like you even more. I mean, what? No! Did I say that out loud? Forget that I said that. Anyway, I lost the challenge man-to-man, -man, so we have to settle this. I gotta face the music. Mario, please forgive him! My lackluster was just following Huff above his orders! He's really sweet! Please don't take my sweetie away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. Really? Oh, for real? You'll forgive him? Thank you! Man, Lackaloo would be the real tough boss of the game. Stop calling me Lackalester! It's such a stupid name! My name is Spike. Spike! Don't you ever listen to me? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Huff and Puff to be some part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was... Hey man, I got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? Uh... <laughs> for myself. <laughs> for world peace. World peace, huh? Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Still, I must admit, there's a certain manly charm to having such a noble purpose. Yeah! That's the way to go! I'm going with you, man. Oh no! Lackalester, you can't leave me! Please take me with you! Yeah, come on! She's tougher than Lackalester is. Oh, Wackaloo, chill out. You gotta understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I gotta be a man. We must be swift as the Corsine River. <laughs> wait for me. I'll return a much more manly Wackatoo. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Wackalester. But you'll be so sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear, if you make me worry, I'll take a spiny and... Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Guess I better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. Bye for now. Lackalester, join your party! Press down to ride Lackalester over its spikes and lava. While in battle, he can attack by throwing a spiny egg with his spiny flip ability, or attack all enemies by throwing many spiny eggs at once with spiny surge. 
Wouldn't it be as embarrassing to losing to Junior Troop at the beginning? Okay, well, if you lose to Junior Troop at the beginning of the game, you are... <laughs> you literally intentionally tried to do that. Oh, my lack of Lester, come to me soon with a smile. Ah, come on! Call me Spike! Well, I definitely want the Shooting Star. That's going to be helpful against the boss fight. Alrighty. Last end, Power Rush sounds good. We'll do that. Uh, we could do Refund as well. I do like Lackluster's ability. <laughs> Imagine if you did while trying, no one would ever love you. <laughs> That's a bit harsh, but also kind of true. <laughs> Alright, going back to Toad Town, I got a couple things to do here. Hi, Mario! <laughs> oh, I just realized, actually, there is one fight that I thought was optional that is not optional, actually. Yeah, I refreshed my body and spirit, just like you asked me to. So we're actually going to have to fight... Uh, Electro Blooper. Oh, hang on. Hey, Rolf. What you got? Ah, just out of my price range. I have Dizzy Stomp anyways, so that's basically just a better version. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to fight Electro Blooper down here. I already fought regular Blooper, opening up the shortcuts. Blooper! Oh, come on, I don't want to have Sushi as my partner. This is pretty powerful. I could also use Chill Out on him. Maybe not now, though. So we now have all the partners in the game, actually. <laughs> I dislike that blooper, though. Oh, the third blooper. The biggest one is... Oh, I just realized I should have saved my Star Storms for when he actually electrifies himself. That was stupid of me. But yeah, the, the super blooper is a pretty tough fight. Darn it. Oh, I should have equipped jump charge instead of refund or whatever. You know what? Let's try making him dizzy. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Does he stay electric for more than one turn? Oh, doggone it. And that tilt a lot of damage. This guy is way tougher than I remember. Holy cow. Okay, with... So he deals... Four... No, he, yeah, he deals four damage. Half is two, and if I defend, which I probably can do. If I waste another life shroom on this whack wit, I'm gonna be upset, though. Alright. <laughs> it's part time, Woody. I forgot you actually have to fight this blooper, unless you perform a massive series of glitches, though. Okay.
All right, Bo, I don't want you getting hurt, so I guess you'll do nothing. Wait, hang on. Did Starstorm get rid of his electricity? I'm confused now. <laughs> if you were an enemy and Disney die was used on you, you would <laughs> get <laughs> out indefinitely. I mean... I, d I don't know about me. I don't get dizzy very easily. Might as well use it now. Why not? I can't tell if that uh, lasts for two turns or if it's like one attack and then it disappears. I don't really know. This is the first battle I've actually used Focus in also. Crunchitize me, Captain. I need to be refreshed. This is one of the tougher fights I've faced, actually. But thus far, the only two fights I've actually... Well, no. I died on General. Well, did I? I think I died on General. Guy. I died on Tutton Koopa, which was very embarrassing. Oh, he's dead! At last. And now we get access to this. Oh hey! I just realized this is a shortcut. I can t I can take a nap. <laughs> Yay naps! Well, that that did not go as planned. I did not want. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do all that stuff in the blooper fight, but uh, well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'm just hoarding all the letters. I'm not even planning on returning them. Well, now that I actually used up a couple items. Yeah, so now that we have Lack of Lester, we're going to take a side tour, because this is absolutely going to be worth our time. And we have to do this sooner or later anyways, so... I forgot how many hidden blocks are in this room. Thank you, Bo. Bo's ability is good. Yay! Ouch! That hurt. Dark I forgot Dark Koopas actually appear down here. I thought those were like the one time fight. And yeah, down here we get the Ultra Boots! Now we can do the high jump. And we also deal more damage with our jump attacks. Well, that happened. But I can get a refund on my life shroom that I ended up using by accident on Lack of Lester. Oh, I can't carry anymore. That's a shame. I'll throw away the stopwatch. Stopwatch is not terribly great. Thank you, Bo, for your service to America. <laughs> no, not Sushi. Sushi can't swim on the spikes. That's a no-no.
Hey, dude, I am not buying anything from you in this playthrough. <laughs> you are kind of a ripoff. Alright, well, that was a detour, but that was a worthy detour. Nope. All out of my price range and my BP range. Sorry. Okay. Let's go to the shop, get some items. More importantly, store some items. Fifteen more items, cool. Check my jam and jelly. Don't need that. That is a lot of maple syrup. I probably don't need all of that. I definitely want my shooting stars. I'm going to be spending my life savings on a couple super shrooms, because I do need some health fulfilling items that are not life shrooms, because life shrooms... Actually, life shrooms... What am I talking about? Life shrooms are like candy. The The title of my stream is literally Chugging Life Shrooms, because I, I fully intend to be chugging life shrooms for the upcoming fight in the flower fields for the, for the boss. Because he, he deals a lot of damage. Yes, I want you to cook for me. Super shroom. Maple syrup. Give me that honey maple super. And I'd like you to make me another one. <laughs> These two items actually top off my stats. Technically, the... Honey supers would also top off my stats, but because the game has just thrown maple syrup at me, might as well use it. There's a special item down here. I want to say it's a Volt Shroom. If so, it's worth getting. Because Volt Shrooms, <laughs> money can be exchanged for goods and services. Volt Shrooms can be exchanged into Life Shrooms very easily. I'll get those ready for later. Oh, shooting star! That's also really useful. I am so glad to have all of these shooting stars. I think I, I think I have four shooting stars in my arsenal, which is very, very good. All of them are probably going to be used in the upcoming boss fight. Sweet. All right, gonna go here, grab a single coup belief. Bombat's home, but let's not tell Bruce, because he's kind of a creeper. Alright, please make me my life show. So at this point, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, I've got four life shrooms? No. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I have like two maple supers, two life shrooms, like three shooting stars, and that's it. No, I have four life shrooms. That's good. That's going to be good for the boss fight. One last thing I want to do. Oh, I've got two more shooting stars in here? Are you insane? Uh, I'll keep one in there. I'll use one in the next world. So 
<laughs> also, we have, like, not used Goombario at all. I feel a little bad about that, but not super bad. So there are places to get life shrooms, or are they from blocks only? Um, there are lots of ways to get life shrooms. So the easiest way is to go to Koopa Village, get two Koopa leaves, and a buy a mushroom for, like, four coins from the shop. Mix the mushroom and the Koopa leaf at Tasty to get a Volt Shroom, and then mix the Volt Shroom you just made with the other Koopa leaf, and you'll get a life shroom. You can also buy them at the, uh, Forever Forest shop and the Star Haven shop later on. You might be able to buy them from the Shiver, C Sh Shiver City shop later as well. You also get quite a few just from blocks and such. They're good. Alright, let's put an end to the Puff Puff machine. I like this puzzle. Hey, stop that! The Puff Puff Machine is extremely delicate! You might break it! I said don't hit it! Don't you realize that if the Puff Puff Machine breaks, we won't be able to make clouds and blue skies will return? You think it's easy to fill the sky with clouds? Oh my, you're ma ma mario Yeah, me, in the flesh! <laughs> well, another simple fight here. Just two star storms and they're all dead. <laughs> oh man, Bo is such a good partner in the level zero run. Holy cow. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. He gets an electric charge. Oh no, if only there was some way to attack with all enemies without directly touching them. Oh wait. That's a good amount of star points. Ah, retreat boys! He beat us, but good. <laughs> Look at those chumps run away! Alright, now Mario, we better do something about the Puff Puff Machine, huh? Goodbye, Puff Puff Machine. Enough of your polluting ways. Wow! The cards are gone! It's time for a little sunshine! Oh, precious sunlight! <laughs> Mario did it! He saved flower fields! Oh, yes! The sun! Yeah, yippee! The sun's back! Oops! <laughs> Losing control like that. It's so unlike me. Oh, the bright rays of the sun! Once again, I can gaze at the sparkles of light on the water. Oh, it's about time! The sun! Flower fields is saved! And, of course, the sunlight can only add to my beauty. She's the worst. It's the sun! It's the sun! Oh, that heat feels so good! Maybe being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again. Aw. Helping folks feels good! I can get used to this, man. Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. Even to Bowser's Castle? Especially to Bowser's Castle. Cool! <laughs> Now we get the more upbeat Flower Fields music, but I kind of like the upper one better. I 
And yes, I will be making another stop to the Toad Town Inn before I do that. Oh, did you know how to get to Cloudy Climb? Yes, I actually do. I've played the game before. <laughs> I want to have full stats, and I want to have full star power for the boss. Alrighty. Time to set up for the boss. <sighs> Last stand power rush, not speedy spin. I think a refund would be a good choice. Power jump, none of these would be all that. Well, jump chart? No. All my FP is going to be going towards um, out of sight, so jump chart is kind of off, so is all of these. Deep focus, nah, star power is not going to be all that great. Mega rush, no, I don't want to be in peril for this fight. Close call could be nice, but I'm going to go for refund because I'll be using a ton of items in this fight. And as is per the norm, we're going to take Bow along for the fight. Let's see if we're doing this. All right. Oh no! What are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? When you're planting something, the order is soil, then bean, then water. Yeah, I misclicked. Also, I love the music for this upcoming scene. Look at that background. You've got all the food clouds. Oh, there's a badge up there, but alas, we cannot grab it. Ho ho ho! Success! Look at that sprout. Now you can go up to Cloudy Climb. Best of luck, son. Hmm, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Thank goodness that we did, like, the magic seed and, like, the really, really good soil and the really, really special water to instantly grow a beanstalk. If we had to wait, like, years for the beanstalk to grow, that would be terrible. Alrighty. On to the boss. I'm sure a lot of you are waiting for this moment. Hey, Stinky! Are you a man named Mario? And did you or did you not break one Puff Puff machine? That was me! <laughs> what possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was going to turn this sunlit blasted place into a cloud-covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. I must tell you, King Bowser ordered me to defeat you if you showed your face. But I'd take you down even if it weren't a direct order. You cloud-destroying pest! You can't save the Star Spirit! <laughs> Here comes the storm! Eh, this is probably the most infamous boss fight in the game. The key is to destroy his little tough puffs as they pop out, so he can't restore his HP from them. Which requires attacks that damage all enemies, like shooting stars. Master Huffenpuff, I wish to pummel Mario too. Permission to attack? Yes, take him. This is why we got the Ultra Boot Boots before coming here. I 
I don't want to go up against his next attack, as it is almost certainly going to kill me. He always does these attacks in this order. First he inhales the guys to refill his HP, and then he blows like the big bad wolf. Oh, pff, I like the way his whips move. That was great. Refund! I don't know why I expected Mario to eat the star. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness! Last stand activates in the middle of the attack! Alright, um... Hmm. So I'm trying to predict... I'm trying to predict what his next attack is going to be. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Huff and Puff, you really need to chill out. There we go. Enemy's attack power went down by three. You asked for it. Now you'll witness the full power of my storm. Master Huff and Puff, leave him to me. I don't, I'm not sure if this will actually do any damage. <laughs> That's great. The problem is when more Tough Puffs pop out, that uh... yeah, chill out never misses. Which thank goodness for that. This is why I wanted a bunch of shooting stars. <laughs> this is also why I didn't use out a sight last turn. The problem is now all these new tough. Oh, the tough, the new tough buffs do have lowered. Oh, chill out is amazing for this boss fight. Holy cow! Mm. He's got so mad. Oh, that actually that attack really would not have dealt much damage at all. I think it would have dealt one or two. They're like, ah! How did it do no damage, though? Aw, oh, man! You butt. I think he does his inhale and absorb the Tough Puff's move every other turn. Oh, this attack. How much is this going to damage? Nothing? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this seems like a perfect time for a shooting star. <gasps> Shoot! Actually, no. I think I should. I think I'll be okay. I just realized I was out of FP, so I can't use out of sight. But I'm pretty sure I can shake them off before. Well, I think I can shake them off. Oh, shoot! I really hope he absorbs all the tough puffs again on his turn. I really hope he inhales the tough puffs, but he might not. Oh, hey! Well, that's just peachy dandy. Cool. Now I can eat my maple super. If I can avoid having to use a life stream, that would be great. Okay, so what I've learned from this fight is that chill out is amazing. That attack damage is 12, by the way. Okay, he's definitely going to inhale them on his next turn, so let's use our last shooting star. He's getting smaller, so I know his HP's getting low. <laughs> I did that on purpose to go into danger. <laughs> Mm. 
If he does his electric attack now, though, that's gonna be bad. We seem to be in trouble! Hmm, I guess I better stop messing around and fight hard! Will you be alright, Master? We're not finished yet! Here I come! That's an interesting attack. I'm not sure if I've ever seen him do that before. You guys need to chill out a little. Oh my gosh, chill out just breaks this fight. The, the older I get, the more I play this game, the more I realize that Chill Out is really good. Oh, is he going to just do this every turn now? I don't know how much this damage is. Okay, Ivor, that's like the most powerful attack in the game. Or... Uh... That's either like the most powerful attack in the game, or that is not affected by Last Stand or Chill Out. Oh, he's dead. Well, I had to use the life stream dog on it. I can only upgrade BP one more time before I, I get, <laughs> get FP. No, I cannot lose! Oh man, I really wanted to get beat him without having to use the life stream, but that's that's not going to happen. Oh, it might be based on the number of roughs he has around him. That, that would explain it. Thanks! <laughs> that was a fun fight. And now we get the worst star spirit in the game. He's literally just the second star spirit. Second star spirit puts enemies to sleep, he freezes them in time. It's basically the same thing. Duh, and we got a brand new star spirit. Except there are certain enemies that are, like, really susceptible to sleep, like the clubbas or can't see Koopa. And in that case, that's actually better than timeout. And so it was. Mario and his party defeated the cruel Cloud Huffinpuff and set free the sixth star spirit. Oh, but there's still one more star spirit left. Alright, I'm going to... This is not the end of the stream. I'm going to take a short break from the stream. Maybe 10-15 minutes. I gotta, like, use the bathroom. Gotta pet the cat. It's very important. Get some water. So I'll see you guys all in just a little bit. We'll resume it around 410 EST. So... Alrighty, folks, we are back. I'm not sure how much more of the stream I'm going to do, but I at least can make a decent way through the next world. I'm, I don't think I'm going to finish everything today, though. Hey, Twink, you know the sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. Can I transform into Twink? No, I can't. Ah, well. <laughs> Hello, I am a Koopa Troll. Hello. Hey, how goes it? Phew, they've been working me like a dog lately. Say, I heard that Kami Koopa's building some big fiend above Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Psst, I really want to see Princess Peach. On patrol? Very good then, you can pass through. Hey, baby. Hey, Peach. Oh. Oh, before I forget... Gotta put the jam and jelly in there. That'll be nice. Oh wait, hang on, no. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go up. Not down. 
On patrol? Very good. You can pass through. All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. Where's my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please? I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off so outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. We got the castle key. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Part of me really wanted to transform back into Peach while he was staring right at me, but... There's no special dialogue for that. He's just like, huh? You're not supposed to be out. Oh, yeah. One weird thing you can do is go to the library. What are you doing here? Get back to your station! Cammy Koopa will chew us both out if she finds you here instead of at your post. Why do we bother patrolling? I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know Princess Peach got out a couple of times. But this castle is hovering in the middle of the sky. Where's she gonna go, huh? I think King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, though. Why? What are you looking at? I, I'm not looking for the book you think I'm looking for. I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to study... something. Now here, take this and go away. Wait, really? I forgot he gives you a shooting star. Will you give me another? Seriously, leave me alone. I'm really trying to study. I always get this killer headache when I open a book. <laughs> well, back to the treasure chest. I totally forgot you can get a free shooting star out of this. There's so many little secrets in this game. It's so great. There's a reason this is my number two favorite game of all time. It's truly charming. <laughs> you never knew about that conversation. It's, I mean, there's no real reason to go back to the library for it. That's part of the reason. So sleepy, so very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, uh, Princess Peach, somewhere around here, close by. <sighs> hey, it's you! Oh no, it's just me. Hello, me. <laughs> He's out of it. It seems to be locked. You can't open it. Rats! I can't even bash it open with my club? <laughs> I'm just a regular clubber going through. Waka waka. <laughs> On patrol? Very good. Pass through. Hi. Ah, finally! About time! You're so late! Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off, Ivor! You're on thin ice, buddy. King Bowser really should fix that. People are getting annoyed of having to grab oxygen masks in order to go through this area. <laughs> I know!
no. No, Bowser kept... I think Bowser's keeping it as a memento of him beating Mario. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all of the Star Spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely affirmative. You're right, Kami Koopa. Hmm, you there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell too nice. Yeah! Uh-oh! <laughs> you! Why, you little Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again?! Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. Seriously, who gave her that umbrella? <laughs> no one smells nice. <laughs> Not in Bowser's area. It's a requirement to work at Bowser's Castle. Oh, also, Twink does a visit you to just tell you about the next area, Ivor. I totally forgot about that. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Hovenpuff is gone, so the flowers in the flower fields can live peacefully once more. It, I feel if you hadn't come, flower fields would never have seen the light again. Now, there's only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. So, please use my power as you continue your fight. I will not use your power, like, at ever. Your power sucks. We get go oh, up to six, which is nice, but we get timeout, which is just a stopwatch. Now you are able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. No, it won't. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you, so that many, <laughs> so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. Has anyone found a, a good use for timeout? I hope everyone isn't worried about me up in Star Haven. Congratulations, young Mario! You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful once again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. I mean, you can you can make the argument that Lullaby, the second Star Spirit, is just a sleepy heap. But like I said, there are certain enemies that are really susceptible to that, like Clubbas and Kent C. Koopa, the bonus boss. And like because you get it so early, it actually is useful. But timeout, you get too late. Okay. I could actually equip that, but there's no point because I can just avoid them. That takes two. All right. If only it were, like, chill out, but with defense instead of offense. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Wait, is that the voice to give him? <laughs> nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley's in the Shiver region, a chill place, <laughs> chill place far to the north, at the very end of the earth. Merle, who hails from there, said he had something to tell, important to tell you. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure that something is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merle. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. <laughs> Speaking of Shiver City, Bo is shivering up a storm over there. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver Region. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. Oh, like, chill out in that it always lands and lasts the same amount of time. I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a stopwatch miss. But I also don't really care to find out. Alright, how many items do I have? How many, how many life do I have? Three. I'm gonna stockpile up on some items before going. Now, granted, we're gonna get quite a few items along the way in here. Welcome to Harry's shop. Alright. Oh, wait, I forgot about how many life streams I have in here. Okay, Thunder Rage for sure. Shooting Star for sure. Now, 
gonna save the repel gels for later. We'll do the life shrooms. Alright, hopefully that'll be sufficient. There are some tricky fights in this next world. Hey, Rip Cheeto. Alright, off to Shiver City. I love this world. It's really well done. Do, 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 do. Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. This world is just really well done. I love Shiver City. Gorgeous music. Great characters. Hey! Oh, we have a guest! Welcome! You poor man, you must be freezing! If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Oh, this is awkward. No reply. Mayor, Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. Love this music. Help somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Someone clipped his flippers! By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real! How tragic! But, madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have a reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with the suspicious mustache! That's profiling. I told him not to come in my house, but he barged right in! This is a lie! This lady's the worst! My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey you, mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh, saw it with my own eyes. This woman is so evil. <laughs> What the heck? Besides, he's the only one who came into the room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story claiming that you're not the culprit. I was with him the whole time. I swear on my own grave, Mario's innocent. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist ahead hit our... <laughs> How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you. But this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect! I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring the me the murderer yourself. This is not how the justice system works. <laughs> the writing in this game is brilliant, absolutely. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Also, I adore the music that comes up here. This is seriously one of the best songs in the game. Detective Mario. Also, this is probably one of my favorite secrets in the game. It's very well hidden and very great. It's the Attack FX E badge.
Mad, mad props to the composer of this game. She's amazing. Sushi, I hope that you... <laughs> I hope you've got a lot of blubber on you, or else you're gonna be freezing. This whole world is great. The, the, the town is so well built. There's nothing here by accident. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room. Through the chimney. Ingenious. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered? And I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking! That's ridiculous! I did no such thing! You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. Engage stairs! Alright then, come on. Let's go to the mayor's house. I love just, like, the concepts of secret rooms and houses, and, like, and things are not as they first seem. That, that to me, is always... I've always loved that idea. The ideas of that. He always has to get in the house first. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah! If that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm? He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course! It's a message about his death! With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity! So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer! It all makes sense now! No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful! You live out your own plots! Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine! Hmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha! But that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty murder! Oh, come on. Really, you simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house for all my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer! Hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Uh. Oh my, aching. Ouch. Eh! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Ah! Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? W what? Mayor, we thought you were dead! Our backroom murder mystery is awash! What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think... I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course! I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Same time after all this hubbub settles down, uh, sometime, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes. So sorry. <laughs> I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The Mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello, sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. 
What's the matter? Or you want to hike over to Starbone Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. Upcoming fight is going to be very tricky. Alright. For the upcoming fight, I do not want Last Stand, and I don't want Speedy Spin. I do want Close Call and Power Rush, and I'm going to do Power Smash as well. Er, uh, wait... Smash, or... No. Not Power Smash. Last Stand is going to be of no help. <laughs> uh, <laughs> refund could be nice, because I will likely be using items. Uh, let's see, Mega Rush last... Neither of those are very useful. I could do jump charge. Um, I'm just gonna go with my classic refund. I really like refund. Brr, I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever. Oh shoot, I should have equipped last stand. I was getting desperate! I thought it was gonna freeze! This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy! I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here! I'm going to beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm! You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it! Yeah, I just realized I should have equipped last stand. Instead of Power Smash. Oh, I've been busy, Mario! I learned cool techniques! Check out this out! Ha! <laughs> Or I should have equipped it instead of close call. Look at that piece of work! I've been taking a little magic course on the side! And now you're gonna be my final exam! Yeah, I'm gonna win this time! Okay. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! I just realized I'm going to be using Chill Out on him. So last stand actually would have helped in combination with Chill Out. Oh well. Ha <laughs> ha That felt fantastic! I just keep on getting better! So once the Power Rush activates, each jump will deal 5 damage for a combination of 8, and this will just... Okay, so I do want to jump on him when I'm in danger. Aw, oh, doggone it! I'm in peril now. That's not what I want. Maple Super Time. Aw, oh, heck no. <laughs> I'm not letting you get out of here. <laughs> you like magic tricks or PlayStation buttons, Mario? <laughs> I don't think that's what he said. So I'm actually not going to defend against this, because that'll put me straight into danger. a really tough fight. Whew. Okay. At this point, I'll just let the Life Shroom activate.
Wait, hang on. Power Rush is still active? Does it just not stack with... Maybe it just doesn't stack with, um, Mega Rush. Okay, so Muscular is actually really good in a level 1 run. Should have equipped Last Stand, though. Yes! Thank goodness. No! Yeah, get out of here. All right, don't need that. Don't need that. I'll equip that, and I'll equip Speedy Spin. Whew, that was a tough one. Oh, no, 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 Don't want to deal with you. <laughs> An ice. Haha, <laughs> I appreciate that pun. Thank you. We just left a junior trooper there. We gave him the cold shoulder. <laughs> Turn back. Come no farther. Turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. What? You will regret this. This... I forgot about this guy. Monstar. <laughs> First time you met the ghost, you fell for the trick. Yeah. <laughs> That is seriously like the coolest looking attack in the game, though. And I took no damage because of last stand. Are you scared yet? Sorry, Monstar. Goodbye. <laughs> I love Monstar. Oh, run away! Poor Monstar. Ah, you're Mario, yes. Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merle. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many fiends, I must tell you. But not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. I, w I So I love the look of Shiver City. I would never want to live in Shiver City. That would be terrible. Please follow me. I hate the cold. So bad. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep the valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Oh yeah, of course. Even though I've got M on my cap. Come in, please. Now, Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that the stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, now, blah, 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 yakety, 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 yak. You gotta go to Crystal Palace, basically. Here, take this scarf. It's cold out. This scarf has been passed down from my family for generations. <laughs> I'm sure it will be useful. Thank you. Oh yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to Crystal Palace. Legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must solve this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. Well, I'll do my darndest.
So now we gotta go back to Shiver City. <laughs> Poor Junior Troopa. I actually do feel bad for him now. Chuck Gizmo's just sitting there like, Hey, you gonna take the quiz? Or Chuck Quizmo, my bad. How are you? Herring Waste mystery novels have become very popular here in Shiver City, you know. But when I became a character in a mystery, I realized that I'm not so fond of books like that. I'm serious. I mean it. Only Penguin poetry for me now. I haven't forgotten what you did. Oh, hi, Mario. Uh, did you reach Starboard Valley? Did you see Merle? Oh, excellent. He said what? An item has been passed down in this city. Um, oh, right. There was something like that. Just a minute. I think I've got it somewhere. Yeah, she completely ignores the profiling that she did on me. <laughs> completely. <laughs> this bucket has been handed down from my great, 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 great grandparents. <laughs> Clearly, the bucket is the way to get uh, to the Star to Crystal Palace, and it actually is, which is kind of frightening. Could you literally just put any old bucket on the snowman's head and it would move? Alright, time for my favorite... <laughs> I keep saying, like, all of the tracks are some of my favorites. So we put the scarf on him, and we put the bucket on him. A cool bucket hat! Thank you! A warm scarf! Thank you! What a kind man you are! We thank you! As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. And now their magic is so great, it makes the entire mountain rise up. Yeah, Shiver Mountain has fantastic music. The, this whole game has a fantastic soundtrack, but Shiver Mountain especially is, like, really, really good. This whole world has really good music, actually. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowmen. Welcome to Shiver Mountain, home of amazing music. No gulp it, don't lick me today. Ultra shroom me, please? I can sell that for money. Hey, Cooper. <laughs> hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposter! Who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? Wha wha what? That's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper, really. Come on, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying. Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody-goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why, you... You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron. Uh, Mario, uh, you have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. 
I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. You can't change partners. Don't listen to this idiot! Look at him! He's a liar! Go on, hit him! Hit him! This guy thinks he can pull the wool over your eyes, Mario. Don't let him get away with it! Hit him as hard as you can! Can I not move past him? Is there an invisible wall? There's an invisible wall. Yeah. I'm not worried. You and I go way back, Mario. I know you know who I am. I love the Duple Ghost parts as well. It's great. Yow! What made you think I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby! You lost! What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you! Hmm, big scary man. Oh, I'm afraid. Let's just star storm the crud out of them. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, they can totally turn into your party members. Which is the whole point of them, I know. They can copy the shape, but not the personality, yeah. <laughs> so I think they only have 12 HP, but if they have 15, then I'm going to have to power shell them. Okay. <laughs> Even with their extra defense from Cooper's shell, it's still enough to kill them. Nice job, Cooper. Oh, hi! Ooh. Yeah, I do want that. Put the pebble down in its place. Snowman doll? No, I can live without that. I would like the Thunder Rage, though. I'm not going to use the Ultra Shroom. I'm going to sell it later, so I'll be happy to leave that there. Shrine. I, f I forgot how fast you can go through the worlds when uh, <laughs> when you're speeding through the game. At last, it is Mario. You found the plant heist. I've been expecting you. <laughs> oh, do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlar. I'm a messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Merle well. I am their ancestor. The stars spoke of me through the dreams. <laughs> Yes, but I have a very important woman to t uh, story to tell. Anyhow, I was a woman back in the day, and uh, that's how I went to prom with my high school sweetheart. Oh, uh, yeah, I was this. <laughs> well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. That's how I what I learned at prom. Here, I'll give it to you. <laughs> with this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Make haste. Did you understand my tale of my senior prom? I... no. I should not have skipped that. Starstone. Bo is my buddy. Bo is great for avoiding the overworld shenanigans. You know, this would have been a trickier puzzle if you had to go to a different part of Shiver Mountain in order to reach this, but this is like right next to the cave. Oh, also, you're never going to be able to enter that cave again. <laughs> this part's cool. And that's not just a shiver pun. The effects in the Paper Mario series are pretty great. The future games made it more about the fact that all the characters are paper, but... Yeah, I can't hear her prom story anymore. Ugh. Such a shame. Oh, yes, please. Oh, actually... Hmm... 
Well, not yet. So both of those doors are locked. All right. Crystal Palace is a really cool dungeon. All right, here. I'm going to equip both of my deep focus badges. <laughs> Just so I can get my star meter up again. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. Oh no! Why is the meter so low? <laughs> Whoops. Blue key! Yeah, I'm going to need the star power for this dungeon, that's for sure. Where, where? <sighs> I'm getting pretty lucky with that, I must admit. <laughs> My coins! Hopefully, I, I can avoid most of the fights in this dungeon, but I know for a fact there are at least three fights before the boss. And I need to be prepared for those, and I need to be prepared for the boss, all of which are probably going to take star power. The, the whole palace is kind of like a mind screw of sorts, where it's like, there's like a huge portion of the palace that just moves downwards, like, this whole, this whole mountain is moving quite a bit throughout this playthrough, like, it's kind of weird. Oh, never mind, there are four fights that I need to do before right now. Oh, wait, no. Need to blow up the wall first. No, not Cooper. Don't want them turning into Cooper. Yikes! Mario's here! Whoa, we better beat him! <laughs> I forgot about this fight. <laughs> that's, that's a really cool thing where your reflections are the duple ghosts. I love it. Alright. Um, might as well focus. I turned into... I gave Goombario... I made Goombario my partner because... <laughs> <laughs> because now they're going to turn into Gubario and probably spend most of their time just tattling on me. They're also pretty weak as Gumbario. Alright, well, I guess I'll refresh. This is a great battle to get my star power back, actually. Because I forgot, if you turn into Goombario, duple ghosts are really not that big of a deal. Especially when Goombario is at normal rank. Wonderful. 
I guess I might as well tattle on this guy. Just to see his HP. <laughs> yep. It's Mario, silly! He's here to save Princess Peach who was kidnapped by Bowser, remember? He fights until the bitter end, no matter what enemies attack! <laughs> I love how they mimic your tattle. It's so good. And I'm back up to full star power. Excellent. Goodbye. No, the real Mario is so strong. <laughs> you got that right, Mario is strong. Not the fight I want to initiate, no. But now I can see Duplico Stage P, which I think we might have to fight a few more. Well, depending on how much I suck, that it depends. Oh no, I'm all full on items. Shooting stars are slightly better than Thunder Rages are. So... Out of my way, swoopulas. Alright, and now down here we get the P down D up badge. If only that costs just one BP to equip. I was sure it was gonna be you got the first strike! <laughs> this guy didn't really want that, but alright. Oh, I should change my badges up. Yeah, that takes two. This place is beautiful. I like the stars on the walls. Even though I would hate how cold it is. <laughs> Bit of a mind screw dungeon, like I said. What happens on one side of the dungeon tends to happen on the other side. Oh, yes! It's this part! Duple Ghost round two, y'all! What? Who are all of you? You're all trying to look like me! Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which is the real Bombette. You can tell, right? Hey, I heard that. You're spreading lies, you imposter. I'm the real Bombette. Oh, no, no, no. Mario, look careful at me. I mean, you'll know. I'm the real Bombette. It can only be me. These lovers are all liars. <laughs> I'm the one! Mario! Me! Don't fall for these tricks! I'll blow you up if you do! I'm the real Bombat, but please trust your eyes and look at me. Ah, I'm not lying. No, I can't bear this. Mario, smash the imposters with your hammer. All of you pretending to be me, I can't take it another second. Oh, that's a nice idea. That'll clear all this up. Wink. Yeah, good idea. I just hate imposters. Mario, I'm the real Bombat, so don't you dare hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so, choose the imposter. You must choose Sheriff Woody. Oh, I can't leave. <laughs> the star, the heart, the exclamation points, and the dot dot dots. Yeah, as a kid, this was really hard to figure out. And now as an adult, I'm like, no, it's very simple. No, no, I, I should have worked harder on my Bombat disguise. I, I won't forget this. What? Why did you hit me? <laughs> Blast! You found me! What's wrong with my disguise? It was the problem with your attitude it was the problem. Oh, somehow you managed to see for my disguise. Darn it. I thought I was doing so well. 
yeah, you're way too flirtatious and su suggestive. Oh, you must be very smart to figure out I was an imposter. Curses! I thought we were doing a great job of confusing you. We'll be back. If you'd hit me with the hammer, Mario, I was going to bomb you the next time you napped. But you didn't! I'm so happy that you knew I was the real bombette. I ship it. <laughs> also, that's a nice pose, Bombat. Ugh. Cool jump. I also love how her wick is a ponytail. I think I've pointed that out before, but it's fantastic. So now we're getting into the dangerous part of the dungeon. This is where we have to fight, I think, the three white club of guards, and there are a lot of enemies in those fights, and they do a lot of damage. So Bombette's gonna be our friend, our lord and savior. I think Chill Out is also going to be our friend. Nope, wrong way. I always go for the wrong way first. Who are you? The great and honorable Crystal King said I can't let anyone pass. You're up to no good. I'm gonna have to hurt you. Uh, nope. Uh-uh. Black Magic Koopa, you're going first. Or, I'm sorry. Gray Magic Koopa. Oh, this... I bet this is gonna be just not enough to kill. I think they have 11 HP. Yep. No! Stupid Grey Magic Koopa. Alright, well then. Since I'm just sitting here doing nothing, might as well refresh. Oh, shoot, I should have done out of sight, and then refresh to get my FP back. Oh, well, thank you for that. I actually do appreciate that. <laughs> wah, wah, wah! No! No, no, I didn't want to do nothing! Doggone it, I was stuck on the wrong menu. Oh, well. <laughs> wah! Oh, and now I get topped off on all oh, my stats. Well, last BP upgrade we can get. So we're probably going to have to end up leveling up FP as well at some point. Lovely. Okay. Well, I don't want speedy spin for the f future fights. They're not going to help me at all. I could do close call. Actually, yeah. I'll do the power free. I won't let you. I won't, and I won't, and I won't. You can't. You're going to have to get through me if you want to get past. All right, I'll do that. There's fun in me. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to take out the Magic Koopas first, because they're just annoying. I should have done this in the last battle, because then I could have taken out Gray Magic Koopa. Goodbye. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that really hurt. Nice. I like it when they do the triple attack. Alright, that went pretty well. And again, I do have life shrooms for emergencies. Alright. I believe this is the last required fight before the boss. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said I'm not budging, you got that? Do you have any idea how mad the Crystal King will get if I let you pass here? 
I don't want him, him mad at me, so I have to teach you a lesson. I just That's my Hammer Bro voice, isn't it? Ah, no. Uh-uh. See, even at the end of the game, Starstorm is fantastic. Go ahead, boost his defense. It's not going to do you a lick of good, because I'm just going to Star Storm again. And this pierces defense! Dang, these star points, though. Well, so much for close call. Close call is not worth it. I'm only a level 10. That's kind of amazing. Secret way for there, but it just leads to a badge that I can't actually do anything with. Hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you fully attentive. Okay, so now... I'm gonna get my star power back up, I think. Oh, no! Forgot they can get the first strike. That's actually pretty bad. Forgot about that. Yellow Magic Koopas are not that bad. They really are. Oh, thank you, Mario. You are a speedy little bugger, and I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, that chest has the triple dip badge, which takes a lot. Oh, oh, this is the best part of the dungeon by far. <laughs> Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me. I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on! I'm Cooper! I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, sonny! You don't be you believe me, don't you? Oh, I never realized that Koopa Koot actually has that little beard there. I always thought that you could just see... Like, I thought, I thought there was just, like, the gap between his head and his arm. No, that's a beard. I'm the real Cooper. There isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Okay, old bean, you'd best smash these imposters one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? You must have some sort of sixth sense, sonny. Duh, remember me, I'll return. <laughs> yeah, they need to go home, they are drunk. Hmm, Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Goodbye. Ouch, that hurt. Still, good job. You must have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. <laughs> Darn it. Also, I love, if you if you hit Cooper, he'll, like, get angry at you and be like, You did that on purpose! <laughs> you knew it was me. Brother, I said I was the real Cooper so many times. So mean. <laughs> Just joking. I definitely thought I had you going there, though. Yes, yes! Good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. Those were the worst disguises ever. It's true. They were. Please tell me there's a health refill. Uh. <gasps> Me! 
maple syrup. I liked it. Way much. Whoa. <laughs> Cooper opens his mouth when he jumps, and it's great. This dungeon is just so well designed. I mean, in terms of actual design, this is better than Mount Lava Lava, but I like Mount Lava Lava a bit more. I like the atmosphere. Oh! I will drink my syrup. Ah <laughs> <gasps> yeah, honestly, generally when you encounter games that you really like, they tend to get, like, worse and worse as the game goes on. I feel like this only pretty much gets better. I mean, flower fields notwithstanding. But, like, this is really, really... This is, like, a great last world. Oh, yeah, 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 the P up, D down. I wish I could equip that. Hi, Clubba. I really just have to get my star power up to full before the crystal cane. I'm not worried at all about clearing the crystal cane because I have so many life shrooms with me, but he's going to be a tough fight. Thank you for not putting two duple ghosts in that room, Nintendo. I appreciate that. The palace key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this room is very interesting. This dungeon is such a cool gimmick of, like, the mirrors and what happens on the upper level happens on the lower level. Just, just really well done. Really cool puzzles. So I actually have to find some enemies to encounter to boost up my star meter. Oh wow, I actually have a lot of coins. 214. Duple ghost down here. This is the Duple ghost down here. The perfect battle to do this. Bring out Goombario. He's really weak. The duple ghosts are gonna copy him and do like nothing. And Mario can just refresh every turn. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Well, that's gonna put a damper on things. I'll deal with Duple Ghosts. I'm not dealing with Magic Koopas as well, though. There's a Duple Ghost in the other room at, uh, upwards from here, though, so maybe that's better? No, there might. With how the reflection works, it's probably got some Magic Koopas, or at least some other enemies as well. Uh, no. Mm -mm, no. Not you. Not you. I'm gonna fight Duple Ghost up there.
Wow, you just walked right past me. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can deal with this. Even though there's four of them, and that's going to make things annoying, it's true, but I can deal with this. Um, you're not supposed to do that. Uh huh. Um, hmm. I just want to attack, I guess. Okay, good. You're turning into Goombario. Good! Okay, so I think at this point I don't even have to defend. Yeah, I don't, because the last stand is protecting me. Sweet. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yes, please keep tattling on me. Yeah, I was not going to die against the Duple Ghosts. That would be really stupid. Uh, yes, the real Gambario is the one that is behind me. <laughs> Thank you, Deep Focus. It also would help if I was able to equip Group Focus. Because I would let Gumbario use Focus as well. I also have to think long and hard about what badges I want to bring for the Crystal King fight, because I actually might... Wait, I was already full on Star Meter, whoops. I actually might not want to equip Refund. I don't want Mega Rush. I definitely want Last Stand, I definitely want Power Rush. Those are both going to be nice, but for the last badge, Refund is an option. I will be using a lot of items against him. But honestly, at this point, I don't really need money. I've got 214 points. So I might equip something like Power Smash, actually. I'll equip Speedy Spin for now. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of the Mario? Well, too bad. Not speedy spin, that's for sure. Alright, so refund is a decent option. Close call actually could be a decent option as well. I can't remember I can't remember he has one or two defense. So I deal six damage with my hammer. Okay, so it wouldn't matter either way, whether it was power jump or power smash or whatever. Jump charge is an option. No, not a good one though. Not jump charge. Because I'm trying to figure out if I want to bring Bo into the fight so she, she can use uh, Out of Sight. No. Out of Sight's really not going to help. So I think I will equip Power Smash. I think these three are going to be the best. I'm going to bring Watt as my partner because he can pierce the Crystal Cane's defense. And how about that background? Who comes to my palace? I think this is going to be tougher than the Huff and Puff fight. Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. Alright, so these crystal bits are going to be a problem. Luckily, we've got a lot of items to deal with them. We do not want the Crystal King to spit those out at us. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, it is Nessie. Nessie did use him as his avatar. I forgot about that. Oh, you brought more? I got another Thunder Rage for you. Watt can just dish out a good amount of damage every turn. Cool! Now I'm in the danger mode! Yes! Please keep doing this move over and over again! Please do! I have plenty of items to deal with this. I doubt he's going to use that move again, though. Let's chill him out. Oh, oh, it's funny, because he's the ice boss, and we're going to use chill out. <laughs> yeah, he can't do a Dane thing. <laughs> Never mind, this is going to be kind of a cinch. Last stand is so good. Holy cow. Ah, uh, yeah, I was wondering when he was going to use this. <gasps> I love that sound effect, too. It's fantastic. All right. I still got more shooting stars with your name on them. <laughs> How rude. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Oh no, you're getting chilled out again. Chill out is great! Why did I not use this before? <laughs> I think I used it once in my Let's Play, like, against Final Bowser, and it was... Okay, but not great against him. But holy cow, Chill Out plus Last Stand is insane. Because Chill Out lowers their attack by free, and then Last Stand halves that damage that has already been lowered by free. So it basically lowers it by six. Last Shooting Star. Also, this guy, he's dressed the same way as the Ice King from Adventure Time, except this guy came first, and it's better. Oh, knock it off. Yeah, keep doing that move. That's really easy to guard against and deals no damage. If you don't guard against it, though, it will freeze you. So thank goodness it's easy to guard against. Hmm. So I could use Star Storm. Oh, hey, not. Will this work? Will this show me who the real one is? Because I do want to keep him his attack lowered. <laughs> it does! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> Thank you, Muscular. That was really easy, actually. <laughs> and look at that. Oh. I can't increase BP anymore, so now I have to increase FP. <laughs> no, the last star spirit. Keep Bowser, forgive me. <gasps> wow, that was pretty easy. That was a lot easier than Huff and Puff. <laughs>
<laughs> Granted, I also had a butt ton of Thunder Rages and Shooting Stars, which helped out a lot. And Chill Out and Last Stand, just... He can't do anything. I'm totally using that against Bowser as well. <laughs> Thank you, Nessie. <laughs> now, what time is it? <laughs> I have been streaming for over four hours. I might have to call it there, then. <laughs> I'm not going to the end of the game this stream. Sorry. There's still a whole lot left. Mara, he has saved the last star spirit, Calmer. <laughs> and now, he must face Bowser and the Star Rod. Can he rescue it? Yes, he can. And we'll have to see that next time on Paper Mario Level Zero. This is a lot of fun, and this is nowhere near as hard as I was expecting it to be. This is actually a really fun challenge. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Tune in next time. We're going to be finishing up the game. It's going to be a hoot and a half. Hope you all have a great day. I hope God blesses you wherever you are, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's sure to be a good time.